Greetings and salutations. Welcome to the very first episode of Fables of Refuge. This is a show where we play Dungeons and Dragons and create a collaborative story under my guys, Jarrett Sullivan, the DM. We also have... Allie Fitzgerald. Jess Ayers. Laura Daly. Carter Michael. Nice. Let's get playing. All right. So, we are on the world of refuge, a place once covered in water. It receded a thousand years ago. You all live in this post-Diluvian world from different corners, different places, never have met. But you know of the great celebration and fair that takes place every 10 years at the town of Ginnon, where the Pact of the New Beginning was signed. The very spot a thousand years ago. Big party, everyone's traveling from different places. So, when you each individually arrive in this small town, you notice it is walled. Sandstone walls, 15 feet high. Uh, there is a dry moat on the outside, but it has long since started to fill in. It's merely a divot now. Building onto it, some buildings, some, uh, some housing is there where people have built outside the walls. The town does continue lightly outside the walls. And right now, today, there is a tent city set up for travelers who have come to Ginnon to celebrate. So, you can make your way into town. I guess we'll start with you. Where would you like to go? Are there any bookstores nearby? Uh, it is the evening, so most of the regular shops are closed. There are a few open inns and taverns. Two inns uh, catch your eye. One is a nicer place called Plowshares Rest. The other place is uh, still decent, but uh, seems a little bit easier on the price. It's called the Landed Tortoise. So maybe not as academic. The but Landed The tortoise. Landed Tortoise. Well, I'm not choosing when it comes to price, so I'll take the land of tortoise. Okay. Make my way there. All right. Inside the landed tortoise, lots of chat, people talking. It's warm, the fire is up. Uh, some light music from a bard playing in the corner. And uh, there is a large middle aged tortoise standing behind the bar, carrying on with the tale of his adventuring days. Uh, that's when, uh, that's when it really got started. And let me tell you, you don't want to be there when it goes down. Get you a drink. Uh, yeah, mate. Uh, what kind of beers do you have on tap? I make my own turtle ale. It's not made of turtles, of course. Uh, I hope not. <laughs> it's a special price for the fair one copper. All right, sounds good. Towards you one. Sitting next to you at the bar is a blue dragonborn. <laughs> um, next to you is a blue dragonborn. Um, she. <laughs> like, Kitty sneeze. Do you have a cat in the bar, sir? <laughs> Gotta keep the rats down. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the cutest thing ever. <laughs> you see, up next to you, a blue dragonborn. She's wearing very simple uh, robes, like a, a cloak with a hood. Um, the hood is strangely up, even though she's inside. Mm. Um, she kind of is looking around, not, not really kind of taking it all in, and she's drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> Dry you for ya? What? You going dry? What is dry? You don't drink. No alcohol? Oh. No. No alcohol. Do you drink alcohol? Yeah, I got myself a beer for the celebration. 
that's nice. Well, I'm Martha. What's your name? Uh, my name is Tazu. It's nice to meet you, Tazu. Are you from here? Uh, uh, no, not 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 originally. Are 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 you? No, I'm not either. Just came in for the celebration. Me, me too. Uh, as you're having your conversation, what are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm, uh, listening to the bard. Okay. Play. And, uh, I do, I'm looking around the room. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I like to know where my exits are. And, uh, I see this, this dragonborn with her, with her hood up, and that's mm-hmm. a little suspicious. Um, so I, I go over nearby, but I don't, I don't engage yet. So I go over to the bar. Um, excuse me, can I please, uh, do you have any good ciders? Aye, 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 they, uh, it's a little bit off season, but I can, uh, I can get that for you. Great, thank you very uh, much. How much? Cider, cider, uh, two cover. Oh, great. I yes. got that. There you go. Goes and kind of rustles around behind the bar and... Flows off. There's a, a bottle that uh, is a little dusty, but it looks pretty good. Here you are. Awesome. Thank you uh, very much. He keeps it uh, kind of in a like holding area, kind of in the ground of the bar. So it's actually fairly cool. Great. 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 Mm-hmm. So I'm near. I'm nearby. Okay. I'm just listening. Okay. Bard singing a song about the waters receding and the calamity calmed and all these things going on. It's a familiar tune. And then, what are you doing? Uh, well, I saunter in, already a little buzzed. Great. Not drunk, but like, I'm loose. I'm having a good time. Um, so I'm gonna walk up to the bar and be like, Hey there, bloke, how are you doing today? Uh, mighty fine, mighty fine. Oh, what can right. I do for you, do you have friend? any? Do you have any ales, sir? Of course, turtle ale, no turtles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, is that like a house brew for you? You're putting it together. Uh, I can put two and two together. All right, Javier, house, turtle ale, sons, actual, turtle, ale. turtle ale, sons. Turtle ale, something different. Oh, a turtle ale. I'll have a tur- turtle ale. Excellent. It pours it out the, the tap. It's a, it's a like brown ale, very standard. It's cut. Sure, I flick it with my thumb towards you. Big turtle mitt. That's what I'm talking about. Adventurers, eh? Coming in from out of town? Yeah, yeah. Seems to be so, even the one listening that. over there. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> I, be, uh, thanks for ratting me out, but yeah. We're all friends here, my friend. We're all friends here. You were uh, very obvious about it. Really? Oh, sorry. I was trying to be sneaky. Um, you did have your hood up. Uh, why, why do you have your hood up? Do, are people not afraid of Dragonborn? Or do you need... Is, I mean, no. I'm a tiefling, so I... I think, you're in, really. I think you're in good company here. Yeah. Probably a good time Has to do you, subscription, uh, subscriptions. Please subscribe. <laughs> time, probably a time to do some descriptions of what you all look like. <laughs> Um, I guess, oh, I guess I'll start then. <laughs> uh, Tazu's a blue dragonborn. I don't know how else to describe her. She's blue. She doesn't have hair. She has gray eyes. Um, I think I said already she wears sort of plain, um, modest clothing. Uh, modest in the sense of not flashy or expensive, not necessarily modest, like, ooh, covered. Um, <laughs> uh, but she's, she's a monk, um, so she dresses, if you've ever seen a monk in this part of the world, she probably dresses that way. Um, so yeah, cloak, she had the hood up, she's put it down. Um, yeah, like nothing too revealing, but flowy and easy to move in. 
Uh, Marza is also a tiefling and her horns go back and they're green and she has uh, two jewels. One is a tree and one is a key and they're connected. Um, my tiefling skin is red and my hair is also red and I have like braids um, and different beads in my hair and it's it's pretty long a little crazy um uh yeah so her hair is red her skin's red her eyes are gold um she wears kind of more like traveler's clothes with layers um on the long long sleeve and then kind of like a, a skirt over her pants um with layers and and boots very nice well Guess let me introduce myself. My name's Chandri. Nice to meet you. I just came in staying at a, a city of Oak right now, so it was a short journey for me. So Chandri um, is a half elf. She's pretty tall, muscular. Looks like she's been like out in the sun a lot. Like like she, like she's done like hard physical labor in her life. Um, she's got pointy ears, like light brown or like tan skin. Again, been out in the sun a lot. Um, dark hair that's like kind of styled more to one side um and she's got like leather like sleeveless leather armor and then like a rapier on each hip um and the rapiers are mismatched like one has like a really swept hilt like a fancy hilt and the other one's just like a plain cup hilt with a knuckle bow um boots pants just looks like she's like ready for whatever <laughs> um I'm Ash, um, I'm a purple tiefling. Uh, I've got uh, two uh, horns that kind of sweep back and uh, two dark sort of shadow, sort of look like tears uh, underneath both eyes. Um, I'm wearing um, pretty dull um, sort of beige brown um, uh, clothing to help blend in more. And uh, I've got two uh, normal short swords, no cool hilt, nothing like that. Your standard bow and uh, quiver, um, nothing flashy. Um, yeah. Great. You're conversing and getting to know one another. The big turtle's just like, oh, well then, uh, you're gonna be in the tournament tomorrow, then, yeah? Tournament. Tournament, of course. Tournament. What's the tournament? Well, it's uh, the Lord Mayor's own choosing, don't you know? Uh, I'm all over the place with this accent. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't you know? I'm trying to be like <laughs> no. be more like home for this guy. <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, it, teams of four. Everyone competes. Uh, different. There's there's several different. Uh, events that take place, and uh, the winning team gets 400 gold. That's why most everybody's wow. here. Wow. Four, 400 gold. That's now, right. That's is a, that per person or per team? Uh, per team. No, this is not a. Still, 100 gold. It's not per a place per made of money. That's a lot. That's a lot for the farmer. Tazu, you're a monk, right? So you won't yes. need all of your share. Like, we could. Wait, are you suggesting we... That's a bit rude. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. That's right. But Monks can if we have were... money and enjoy it. That's true. That's true. Yes, if, if I am to participate and help, uh, I would like to be compensated. Great. All right. I am, just... I am monk. I am not stupid. Okay. No, no. I was... I'm so sorry. I, I feel like I've gotten off on the wrong foot. I'm really sorry. I'd be happy if we wanted to do a team. I was gonna say, so you're, you're suggesting that the four of us start a team together? Sure. I mean, I was hoping to make a couple bucks while I was here, right. so I'd be down for that. I don't know, what, what skills do you guys have? I mean, I'm clearly cut out for battle, but I don't know yeah. what, like, you Yahoo's bring to the table. I'm, I'm more of a support guy myself. I so. have skills, but you just can't really see them until they're being used. Yeah, but like, I mean, if we're gonna be on a team together and wanna know what skills I can bring to the things. table. Hmm? I can hit things. Hit things, see? That's what I like to hear. I hit that's good. Good. 
What skills do you have? Um, if we're allowed to use magic, I'm a sorcerer. <gasps> Can we use magic? Yeah, of course. Great. You never yes. know uh, what what different people are bringing to the. That's the good times. I've been and, uh, a little bit about magic lately. Oh, how that's, you? Oh, that's <laughs> fascinating. What kind of magic do you use? Is it nature magic? Uh, it's no. It's it's a bit more um, wild. I'm, I'm, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm still learning how to use it. Mm-hmm. I like that. I know uh, two it, spells, it so maybe you could show me some. Oh, you right. know, tricks some, sometime. Oh, I can do some too. Just have his fingers and two globules of light pop up and move around. Oh, like, that's wonderful. Oh, yeah. Charming. Yeah, I know. Is... Pop some way. <laughs> that, that oh, that was funny. Cool. I like that. Mm, sometimes it gets dark. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's true. It's a tortalism. It's tortalism. tortalism. Absolutely. Sometimes it gets dark. That's a clever one, mate. It's true. So, well, if y'all are gonna be a team, that's good, that's good. Oh, are we we cool with being a team? I'm cool. I mean, Mr. I'm a support guy sounds like he's not gonna be carrying his weight. No, so. no, I I, will, I can uh, heal you guys a little bit. And, uh, you know, I, I'm uh, I'm kind of an explorer adventurer, so. All right. Like, I've got, I've got skills. Where do you adventure? Oh, just, you know, across the plains and uh, in the mountains sometimes. Do you travel the coast much? Uh, not as much as I would like. Why? I've just never been to the coast and I'm interested. Oh. Oh, well, it's very beautiful. I mean, yes, I yeah. I grew up in the mountains, so I'm not used to the ocean. Oh, I've, I've, I've been to the mountains a, a couple times. It's beautiful. I've spent far too much time by the coast. You say that like it's a bad thing. I don't think it's that wonderful. There are much better things out there. Dang. Hmm. Um, pardon, what was your name again? Chandri. Chandri. That's a beautiful name. Oh, thank you. You got some beautiful little dingle dangles on your... Uh, oh, thank you. On your horns there. Yes. I like it. They're jewels, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Are those magic too? No. Ah. They are... They're representations of knowledge. Oh, very nice. That's cool. All right, so it looks like we got a, a diverse set of people here. Great. That's We're set up for rather, success. Yeah. Let's rather play. kismet. Four random strangers coming into a bar when they need a team of four for the tournament tomorrow. What are, what the, are the chances? I wow. say they might be pretty good. Seeing that happen. Yes, it is. It's something like out of storybook or something. Yes. <laughs> Uh, you want to know anything about the tournament? Or yes. You yes. Into? yes. What, All right. All right. what are the challenges? All right. Uh, the, the mayor has picked four this year. Uh, four there's the theme. Yeah, there's four directions. Mm -hmm. There's four, there's two roads that come into Ginnon and have four different exits. I don't know. I might be making that up, but the mayor picked four. So that's what we're doing this year. <laughs> We've got the uh, pie eating sack race, which they're calling Ooh. pie and a poke. Pie and a poke. Pie and a poke. We've got. Pie and a poke. We've got <laughs> pie and a poke. We've got the the quiz archery challenge. <laughs> quiz archery. So you need to use your brains and your archery skill. We've got a dwarven drinking contest, and of course, as always, the highlight of the tournament, Professor Gato's miraculous mecha magic man. You fight him. Oh, ooh. It's rather impressive. You fight to the death. Mecha magic no, man. No, of course not. That'd be ridiculous. This, this is, is a party. celebration. This is a party, dude. You're trying I'm to like sorry. your vibe. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, yes, guys. That, that got dark. I'm sorry. Uh, there's clerics standing by to help in case anyone gets in trouble, but generally it's non-lethal. Okay. Uh, you don't have to worry about the Mecha Magic Man. He's a machine, apparently. Okay, great. great, uh, great, great. Quite miraculous. Uh, piece of history, right? You know, alive in front of you and doing things to you. And do well, <laughs> doing... Well, attacking you. Attacking you. Okay, you gotta fight him. Yeah, all right. Uh, and yeah, and then uh, you uh, sign up, and then you take them as you would, and then at the end of the day, against other teams, points are evaluated, and then people, the winner gets, this year, a pot of 400 gold. I think it's a little, uh, it used to be less, but I think it's because the prince supposed to be here, so. The prince was supposed to be here? Yeah, yeah, for the, the millennia celebration. What happened to him? 
No, I mean, it's, it's, pro- it's set. It's, oh, it's, good. it's supposed okay. to be Smart, here. I mean, yeah. I always wait to see with them types. But he's real celebrated around here. Oh, do you have something? You have a problem with with noble? People? No, I'm saying you know, you'll say that you're gonna be somewhere, and sometimes they don't show up. It's sometimes hard to get here from. I mean, but... not not all, not all noble people are. We, you seem to they, be taking this very personal. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. I don't, I don't want any generalizations to be made. But, I'm not making generalizations. Just turtleism. Here, have another here. cider. Oh. <laughs> We're friends. We're friends. Do I, do I owe you a two, no, no, no. two coffee? I didn't oh. mean to offend you. Just Thanks. Saying sometimes people can be late. Thank you, thank you, good sir. But anyway, things sorry. happen, basically. Uh, that's that's turtle turtleism <laughs> right there. Things happen. Great. Sometimes it's happen, dark. Sometimes it's dark. <laughs> and sometimes it's dark. <laughs> mm. Love it. It's so sound with, like home. With these uh, four competitions, you said four people compete. So is mm. it one person per event? No, no. Or is it uh, all four? Right, right. You're a team, so you're gotcha. working together. Gotcha. Uh, uh, the the pie and a poke is a relay race. Um, <laughs> quiz archery. It'll be asked questions, and you can either. You know, eat one of you, designated answerer and designated archer. You can each take a shot. You get four questions, four shots, and for each question you get wrong, the further back you are oh. from the target. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Dwarven Drinking Contest, well, I think that's just a surprise waiting for you to see. <laughs> and then uh, it's special, let me tell you. And then the Professor Gato's Miraculous Mecha Magical Man. Well, that's a fight. So, we're gonna get hammered, and then fight a Mecha Magic Man. Or I mean, if you go in that order, oh, okay. you can choose. I mean, the order. Oh, you I can to... yeah, because you know people are all signing up to do the events. Other uh, teams, different time yes, slots. Yes, I was confused. So you about can. That as well. So we, we probably do all four. Things. We do all four. Uh-huh. Okay, correct. Each team awesome. does each each event. You score points or tally. And then at the end of the closing ceremony, the winner team, winning team is revealed. And this is all happening tomorrow. That's right. So I can drink as much as I want. Correct. Yeah, it's great. It's correct, good. correct. The last day Mr. of the year, bring up years back. tomorrow. I'm a support player. I, I'm not going to drink that much, to be clear. I mean, whatever. This is judgment-free zone, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm here to have a good time. So am I, brother. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> As someone who does not drink a lot, I have snuck some of the good wine on occasion. Mm. Ah, there, but that's I got what I in like. lots of trouble. So you want some wine instead of water? Is that what you're saying? I mean, you pay for the water. You're welcome to have what you like. Uh, then yes, a small cup would be nice. Very good. Small. Well, I got some small folk stuff. The Mouse's coming here, and the half one's coming here, and the gnome's coming in here, and there's some over there. When you look over there, there's like four gnomes that are like... <laughs> we all look. <laughs> four gnomes. So they're like two of two, like they're on each other's shoulders, and they're like wrestling over here in the corner of the bar, and people are cheering them on. Uh, they're like showing off how they're going to win the tournament tomorrow. Uh, while well, he's over there, he gets a small-ish cup, and pour some wine, it's very scarlet red, and he hands it to you, he's like, well, there you go. <laughs> to new friendships. Uh, to new friendships. To new friendships. Yes, to new friendships. Well, when you, uh, when you register you. in the morning, they're gonna ask your team name. So you might <laughs> want something. I mean, tiefling, tiefling, dragonborn, half, I mean, it could be anything. Uh, whatever you want. Is the wine good? It's okay. Do you like the wine, Tazu? To your dragonborn palate, it has an array of flavors that show up, and it's a little stale. It's a little stale. Well, good thing you got a small cup then. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, so what's our team name? Oh, um. How about, um, how about, um, um, I no, think you're not gonna right like name. it. You're not gonna like it. Shall we be it. called Um? Okay. Well, I was gonna say Ash, mm. Ash and Friends, but then I thought that would you, probably mm, not go well. Do you think this well. is your team? I mean, I'm I'm a, a support guy. I'm supporting everyone. So, but no, we don't have to go with that name. What if we call it Devils in the Details? 
Because we have three people names. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Even my name was <laughs> at least not racist. <laughs> Um, excuse me, you were the one who came over here and said the dragon bone was acting shady. She she so had her hood up. Started she this. had her hood up. Is I a was... person not allowed to wear a hood up? In, indoors? I like to wear hoods sometimes. Sometimes it's just a cozy feeling. Okay, I'm sorry. We need to be on the same team. Oh, I'm on the same team, so I just don't think you can take a joke. Okay, alright. It was it cool. was a joke. Alright, that was, I mean, was a pretty good joke. <laughs> I, I, mean, I I thought this was funny. <laughs> What what other we've got two great names that we're well, we have one great name. And that mine, right. Mine Yes, and you Sandri guys. and Friends. Yes, great name. Chandri Sh- and, and Friends. Chandri and Friends, yeah. Chandri I'm down friends. for that. <laughs> uh Marza, do you have a do you have a name? Let's see. Um Honestly I don't and usually I'm the brains. Uh, let's see, with two two flames and dragon bone. Oh! No, I'm just kind of a bookworm, that's what I mean by that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Acquainted meetings? Because we're acquaintances and we just met. Acquainted meetings. What about four horsemen of the apocalypse? I mean, there's no horses here, but there are four of us, and four is the number of the day. Four horses of the apocalypse. I do like that. Yeah? Four horsemen, yeah, four horsemen yeah, like of the that. apocalypse. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, as your uh, evening continues, uh, he does, uh, the turtle does say, uh, uh, are you looking for rooms? I've only got the one. <laughs> I mean, it's rather packed. Oh. Uh, I can... Uh, I, I guess I guess I'll go to another inn. I well, guess. there's only one one other one in town. It might be full too. And then of course there's the the campgrounds outside for the. Thing. How many so, beds? All right, we can make it four because we were prepped up for the multiple peoples coming in. Well, I guess that's all right. We all deserve a good night's sleep. I might actually. I've got I've got enough equipment. I I can set up. I'm used to sleeping outside. I think I'm gonna mm. rough it a little bit. Is there like a, a lock box, like a closet, to like lock your equipment in, like hostel style? You know, where there's like little lockers in the bedroom. I mean, if you're expecting someone to be hostile, I mean, I don't. I'm really not trying to make assumptions. And... Yeah, there's there's a foot locker up there. You can okay. lock your stuff away. That's fine. I just want to be too worried. Get in some. I mean, I know there's lots of travelers in town, but I'm not saying that travelers are up to no good. I mean, your stuff's pretty safe in, in the landed tortoise. I mean, you gotta, you gotta be careful. Of course, yeah. I understand. But, I understand yeah. your suspicion. Cat, leave it alone. Go, little cat. All right, cat. Cat interference. Uh, Oh, There's yeah, a lot yeah. of cats in this. No. There are a lot <laughs> in this of cats. Mm. I have a never seen so many like cats in an inn. I mean, I, you know, to me. No, that's why the cats are bored and playing with my stuff. <laughs> they did their jobs already. Yeah. I feel very uh, safe that the room will be rat free. So thank you. I for mean, that. there are some ratlings staying. Just you know, <laughs> don't look them at them funny, and well, they'll be fine. Yes, who is racist now? <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's All of a, us. <laughs> the room upstairs, if you want, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, you know, special kind of rates right now because of all the people in town, so it's in my notes somewhere. I want six silver. Give me uh, six silver for the room, whoever's staying. Uh, if you're gonna rough it outside. I will rough it. The uh, the guard house will take your, your fee. It goes toward the fair and the town and it's... Uh, right. Nine copper out there. Oh, great. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But if you're gonna stay here in the door to slow, I'll take your coin. There you are. Okay. I'll stay in the tortoise. Good choice. Would you like to stay with us, Tazzy? Uh, yes, that that would be nice. Um, I'm trying to do math conversions in my brain, and it is falling out. <laughs> That happens sometimes. Mm. Uh, 
and sorry, it was six, six silver. silver. Six. Turtle hand. <laughs> ah, very good. All right, it'll be uh, be the uh, first door on the right up the stairs. He hands one of you a key. You can lock I'll it up after it. yourself. I'm sure you'll be fine. Ladies, um, when are we gonna meet up tomorrow? What time do the events start? Ceremony start about an hour after dawn. Wow, that's really high fluid people be talking and celebrating the day and having a good time and then the fair starts right after that, tournament starts right after that. There's also vendors and people having food, people just enjoying watching the people doing the tournament and things. So there's a lot more than the tournament to do if you so desire, but the tournament should keep you pretty busy. Um, we do breakfast, comes with your room. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Okay. You don't know how many inns you stayed in, but you know, that's <laughs> what we do. Well, I guess we can Mostly just harmony. be down here for breakfast at Sounds dawn. Sounds good. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that. Yes. At dawn. Meet for breakfast. Okay, sounds good. So, uh, have fun in the tents, bro. <laughs> See you later. So, you get out there, you pay the the guard your, uh, your fee, fee, and he shows you a spot that's a perfect place inside your tent. It's a, a little busy. There's people with campfires, there's stuff going on. So, there's patrons and vendors and stuff. They're all staying out there. It's kind of like the Rin Fair. Uh, and then inside, it's a comfortable enough room. Uh, Tazu, maybe you might want to scoot a couple of beds together to be a little bit better to fit, and then uh, the two of you fit just fine on, on yours. And uh, it's soft enough. It's kind of a it's a budget type of place, but it's warm and quiet enough. There's still people partying and stuff downstairs. Um, so all of you roll your perception for me uh, in the middle of the night. Oh, yeah, like a you do. Ooh, that's not a good first roll. Ooh. No. Ouch. Oh, no. Ooh. It's not uh, good. Mm. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Five. Nice. <laughs> Twelve. Good. A four. Wow. Eleven. Okay. <laughs> well, I am wow. bad at being a ranger. So, <laughs> that's uh, absolutely nothing tonight. While you're sleeping, and it, uh, Chandri and, and Tazu will wake up first and then you're outside and it takes you a minute to be like, stop, you're like, yeah. uh, Ash, you're like, stop shaking me, stop it. Like, you think someone's like trying to wake you up and then you realize there's an earthquake going on. Ooh. Uh, not something that happens very often. So it's just shaking everything, stuff's falling down. And then after about 15, 20 seconds, it ends. That was weird. I say it to myself. Mm-hmm. Tazu, you what? felt that, right? Da, what, what was what? What was that? What? Mm. It. Hey, would I throw a wadded up sock? Okay, roll a uh, <laughs> roll, roll, roll an attack. <laughs> Ran- range attack. <laughs> oh, uh, that's good. That's cool. plus dexterity, right? Yeah. Uh, 15. Nice, yeah, solid sock hit. <laughs> Bam. No damage. <laughs> so it's a spike sock, 20 damage. No, uh, no damage, she, she hits you with a dirty sock. Oh. What? what? Something happened. Huh? What? what? Did, did, did you not feel that? No, I was dreaming about things. Um, What happened? The room was shaking. The, the, heard like the rattling for like a good shaking. 20 seconds. That's that's strange. I am a little new to this area. Do earthquakes happen very often here? I haven't ever experienced one in my life. None of us have ever experienced one, right? Probably not. Would I have ever read about them? Roll notch. Oh, balls. Um. <laughs> Um, or just an intelligence. Oh, uh, history? Sure. Or, okay. So, mm, 
nine. <laughs> You've read some dwarven tomes that speak about like mining accidents that cause the ground to shake and some like maybe insane ramblings about giants above ground like making the mountains move uh but you've never read about seismic activity specifically it's like something out of old dwarven legend or crazy stories of giants in the mountains it was ooh, a little strange um, uh, I, I kind of like look out the window just to see if there's a giant on the horizon. <laughs> okay. uh, roll your perception. It's <laughs> <laughs> not great. Five. There's a giant. Ah, oh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> you don't see a giant. Uh, five out there. You know, there, there's some people out with with lanterns and torches. They're like talking to each other, and people are looking around. Uh, but you don't see any giants or anything out there. Okay. All right. uh, Ash, out at the campground, what are you doing? Uh, this is still at night, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, how late is it? It's late. Yeah, like two in the morning. I go back to the She's like, whatever. <laughs> you, you hear some people outside the tent, you're like, what the fuck was that? And, uh, he was like, I don't know. I mean, there. okay, I take it back. Okay. <laughs> I I get up. Okay. I look around to make sure there's no danger. No, no threats. Yeah, roll a perception. Slightly better. Uh, 11. Oh, uh, yeah, there, there's some people that are like, do you feel that? Like, what's happening? And, oh, I don't know about this. It seems really strange. And, Oh, it's an earthquake. There's like lots of okay. shatter, but there there doesn't seem to be any imminent danger. Great. I go back to yeah. I go back to sleep. No okay. signs of an attack or anything like that. Great. All right. Uh, anything else at the landed tortoise? Well, I didn't see any giants on the horizon, so I'm gonna go back to bed because I would like to win this contest tomorrow. So, kind of mm. roll over and tuck my blanket up to my chin and just like go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, there's, you've dealt with louder things like yeah. pretty much instantly just and she's just out. knock Chandra's out. Chandra's just out. Strange. Uh, Tazu sort of <laughs> tries to get comfortable again yeah. and takes a little bit but she finally falls back asleep. Yeah, usually the monastery is pretty quiet at night so it's a little harder with now this come up this commotion going on but Marza didn't really move, so she just passes back out. Okay. <laughs> just like, I didn't, I didn't, I don't know. Mm. Um, great. So the rest of the night goes undisturbed. Uh, out at the camp, you start hearing people start to break down. There may be some people doing warm up, some sparring going on a little bit mm -hmm. uh, that wakes you up. Uh, maybe the smell of some uh, vittles being cooked by the people that are staying out here. Mm -hmm. um, Can I check out the? Uh, I want. I want to check out the competition. Great, great. Oh, weren't we gonna meet for breakfast? <laughs> right, but I want. I want to see. Yeah, it's still. You know, it's still oh, okay, uh, early. Gotcha. The early lights of dawn. Like great. you can see. So I still have a little time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. Like, okay, oh, I just want to make sure he's not gonna be late. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be. Great. I'm gonna be there. Okay. <laughs> I just want to. You know. Uh, walking around. Uh, roll me some. Uh, in roll investigation. investigation. 18. Nice, nice. So yeah, yeah, you're like hunter's eyes. You're like, all right, who's like the fittest? Who looks like the toughest? Who looks like maybe the sharpest people around? So uh, you see a, uh, a team of two halflings and two humans. And they're, they're doing like the halflings are like doing somersaults and rolling around and popping up places. <laughs> and uh, the humans are like trying to grab at them and they're like warming up. Okay. Uh, you see uh, a tabaxi that's like furiously going over notes and like reading books and like uh, another tabaxi that seems to be one of her partners like shooting an arrow. Like they're like, okay, they might be the competition for the, qu the quiz archery Got it. Uh, scenario. Um, let me write this down. So, planes <laughs> and humans. Uh, the team Tabaxi. Team Tabaxi. 
You see a uh, half Goliath. So this guy's a big dude, uh, you know, close to seven feet tall. They have 280 pounds. He's just bigger, no hair, kind of gray skin. And he's, he's actually like cooking a big pot of breakfast. And then he's got uh, like, looks like a dark elf and uh, two half elves that maybe are also dark elves with him. Uh, they seem pretty formidable. Uh, you see the four gnomes that were in the bar. They actually have right. crashed out here. They never got their tent up. They're just like rolled into <laughs> the like what the, when they set their tent up, they just like rolled into it like a big blanket, and now they're trying to get out of it. Not a threat. They're, they're, uh, to your to your eyes, those gnomes are not going to be a problem. Um, Classic gnomes. Goliath and friends. That's adorable. And uh, the gnome mercy. No mercy. It's an old, no mercy. It's an old gnome party I played a long time ago. Yeah, good, I was in an old, old gnome reference. party. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's about right for them. <laughs> oh, that was off the top of your head. That was a that that, that was a party that I was in a long time okay. ago. Like, <laughs> yeah, great. yeah, yeah. That's basically what we would do too. That makes total sense. Like, yeah. Um, we were like, oh, we totally fuck it up. We just roll up in the tent. Uh, <laughs> no mercy. Such a good time, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, and then, uh, one other team, uh, seems to stand out to you, and it's because it's, uh, it's, it's two mouselings, uh, and, like, an owling, and, uh, like a, a, a tingu, which is a taller bird. So you have, uh, let's call them birds. You say a tengu or tingu? Tingu, T-E-N-G-U. It's a, a, t a bird person. I mean, bird person. Um, and, uh, kind of like if a crow was a person, I guess. Um, of course. And then the birds and mice, uh, so the owl person is a little bit, just a little bit bigger than the mouselings. And the mouselings are about halfling size, so they have quite large heads and big ears. Um, not unfamiliar, there's beastlings around, um, in, in your travels that you've seen. Uh, it's, uh, not uncommon, but... Uh, it's it's surprising to see them like together as a team. So those are the people you notice when you're like, oh, I should probably get to the sun starting to creep up soon. I think you should make your way to the landed tortoise. I do. Okay. On time. Nice. <laughs> uh, as the rest of you, four horse, the, the other three horsemen make their way downstairs. Uh, what would you uh, like to be doing? You see your. Uh, Tiefling, purple tiefling friend uh, waiting at the bar. Compatriot. A friend is a very strong term. Mm -hmm. I would say yes, compatriot. Hey guys, how'd you sleep? Did you feel it's strange? Fun. I did. People were saying it was an earthquake. Yes, that's what we thought too. Yeah. You didn't anything see anything else? Like giants on the horizon or anything, right? I did not see anything. I giants. didn't think so. No. No? Mm -hmm. No? All right, great. I think we should be fine then. Yeah, great. <laughs> I did see a half right. Goliath though. Oh. On the, uh, I was checking out the uh, competition oh. and uh, there's Did he come over and punch there. all the buildings and that's, that's why he shook? Mm -hmm. I it? don't think so. <laughs> but it's it, definitely- It's a joke. Definitely. <laughs> joke. I'm sorry, I've been bad at Picking up your jokes. No, and I no, apologize. it's very no, early, Taza. You mm. have to forgive me. Yeah. Can I have some coffee, please? Mmm, I got some uh, chicory. Sounds wonderful. Very good. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, it's uh, breakfast, as you know. Here's a bowl. He puts balls out. He's like, that's a copper for you. you. Yeah, 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 copper. Uh, it's mostly hominy. Hope you like it. And it's, uh, it's, which hominy is what grits are made of. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I was like, hominy. So it's, it's, it's like shredded hominy and, uh, like roasted vegetables. Um, because he's a, he's a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so he's like, is go, it good? Oh, uh, yeah. It actually is very hearty. It's very, very filling. It's hot. It's mm -hmm. good. Um, okay. maybe a little salty. Um, but, uh, a lot of things are salty in, uh, in refuge, so um, 
And then, you know, he's got some this chicory root tea that's very dark and and sort of like coffee. Um, Cheers, mate. Well, Cheers. I would like to try some of that as well. Oh, very good. Yeah, it just comes with your room. Let me know when you need more. Mm, is that good? Um, it's a little strange. Um, it's kind of, it just to you, maybe it just tastes kind of like burning. And there's not really any caffeine in it. It's just kind of a hot beverage. Mm. <laughs> I don't think Chandri's very picky, so she's just like shoveling it all in. Just hot like, and good. Just makes you feel awake. That's all. Yeah. It's better than slop. You're just ready to start the day. This is great. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Glad you like it. Good luck in the tournament. Nah. Uh, you know, I think I might put some money down on you. Yeah? Oh. Yeah, yeah, great. Oh. Well, we appreciate your vote of confidence, mm, friend. Just, uh, watch out in the Dwarven drinking contest soon. Mm. I feel I like you're really, this. you could really tell us. I don't want cheat, that would be fair, and just give them a little. All right, All right. he goes on to serve other patrons. Uh, the, there's some people that you saw last night, and people coming down and taking yourself back up to their room and other things going on. So, uh, Anything else before you want to get out to the start of the tournament? The start of the should, event? Should we make a plan for... Well, I guess we don't know about the drinking yet. Well, we all have to participate in every single yeah. one, so it doesn't really matter. Is that is that part of the rules that we each have to... Well, we all can is, participate. Like, well, we're all working together on each thing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So that's just what I understood. Yes. Yes. Go and like see what happens. Yeah. Well, I guess that's uh, the horn to start. So there's some horns. <laughs> that, that, starting uh, horn. Uh, it's the you know sounding to gather everyone for the ceremony. So do, 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 do. I'm sure I did everything I was supposed to do. Yes, I did. Um, oh, there's the cost. Okay. <laughs> Found it. Uh, all right. So. Uh, in the town square, they've set up a small stage. Uh, there's an obelisk that's permanent, that's to celebrate the pact. Uh, it's been there for some time. Now the daylight, you can, morning light, you can see that Genin itself is mostly uh, like adobe and stonework. Uh, the ground is cobbles. There are trees and stuff every now and then that seem to have made their way up that no one ever repaired. Um, it's an old place, and uh, the roofs are terracotta and like red tile. It's very much a weather-resistant, particularly water place, which uh, for dwellers of this world, if this is a place where the waters had receded and people were unsure if the waters were coming back or not, makes sense that this would be a more flood-proof type of place. Um, but. Uh, on your way from the, the tortoise, you do see... Actually, make perception checks. We'll see what you see. Oh. I crit failed. I don't know. Damn, you're pretty. <laughs> it's, uh, it, there's a lot of different people here, and it's exciting, and there's children running about, and everyone's, like, stoked for the... the Millennial Mecha Magic Fair, and you're just kind of you're you're there. Mars is really overwhelmed. <laughs> by everything she's saying. I rolled an eight. Um, uh, you know, you, you're interested in the architecture. You're really noticing that historical, like that this is an old place, mm. and uh, and you're you maybe notice like one or two dragonborn that you know is maybe interesting. You don't see any other monk type people that catch your eye. Mm. Nine. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, 14. Great, okay, so nine, oh, yeah. uh, you see uh, some of the teams from outside and you're like sizing them up and seeing how, kind of how they move together and how they're interacting together that maybe maybe their their teams aren't so hot and maybe some of them are mad at each other, you're trying to size them up. Uh, you notice uh, that this does seem to be a pretty big deal. I mean, you've known, that like, this is famous in the Mary Sea, so... Uh, you know, seeing that they really pulled out all the stops here. The stage that's built, even though it's temporary, is very well designed. It's wood and planking and covered. It's got a, a central stage and then two wings that are covered and a like tenting that's open on the front. Uh, there are, you notice, multiple people up 
on the stage in these tempting areas. You see two halflings. One, he's a little darker with dark curly hair and a very bright waistcoat. Next to him is another halfling. He's got like ginger hair and a big smile. And they have a, a half-elven child with them that they're talking to. And then uh, you see uh, the Prince and Oak, Kieran Deeproot himself, is there. Drow, you know, uh, Talva Neve, uh, or Neve, uh, elf, uh, with his uh, with a female Neve as well. Uh, you probably assume that's her wife. There are two children. There are two uh, children up there too. Two two dark elf children uh, with them. And uh, a uh, half Ive looks like probably to your mind. He's in long robes. Who seems to be speaking with the prince is an older half elf gentleman. Um, and then on the opposite side seems to be uh, the religious element. There is a, a human man in uh, clothing that's almost motley. It's it's. it's gray, black, and white, and like opposing placement. So the way it's designed, and other than the color difference pattern, it's very simple. Um, there's a paladin. She is a uh, half-elf, and she's in her full display of armor, uh, shining and bright. There's a Justicar up there as well in uh, a, a, like leather armors, and um, uh, the representative of the Raven Queen seems to be up there as usual, full face mask, black plain clothes, uh, hard to make a, uh, hard to take any type of detail other than the Raven Queen mask that all of her clerics seem to, uh, wear. And then, uh, two, you roll well, so you're noticing this. Uh, <laughs> Uh, two uh, different druidy types, one that seems to be of the land, and one is a watcher, which you are familiar with being uh, someone who's spent time in the water. The watchers watch the, the ocean, and they measure and make sure that the flooding is not going to return, and have done so for a thousand years. So, uh, people are milling about, there's seats set out, they have benches set out for everyone, and people are just taking their seats and so you can find your way um it's the new year's day so it's it's uh in the kind of the beginnings of spring and uh it is a holiday so it's not on the calendar new year's it's just its own day and it happens to be the same day that the flood receded how about that <laughs> makes sense so uh, as everybody starts milling about they, they blow the horns one more time and people start to settle that uh darker halfling with the with the dark curly hair and the bright vest walks up to the stage and calls out in a bright, merry voice, My fellow citizens, high-born and low, skinned and scaled, short and fat. And he pats his own belly, and the crowd reacts. They're a big fan of the, the Lord Mayor here. Uh, it is my distinct and utmost pleasure to welcome one and all to my home, Ginnon where we are celebrating the Pact of the New Beginning, which was signed on this very spot 1,000 years ago. There is much to celebrate, yes, much to celebrate, and many ways to celebrate it. Uh, the tournament is, of course, my choice. Thank you, thank you. Uh, with our Mecha Magic Millennial Fair, many things for everyone to enjoy, young and old, taste buds or no. Now, I hope to see many of you taking part in the tournament. Big prize this year, 400 gold to the winning team, thanks to our Prince Kieran Deeper. Now, it is my great honor to introduce to you an elf who needs no introduction, the Prince in Oak, Kieran Deeproot. Now, as he goes over to the Prince, they, he nods to him, they shake hands. Uh, you all kind of watching and you notice the, the ginger elf there looking on, or the ginger halfling with this half-elf child on his knee that's almost as big as he is, just smiling approvingly and nodding at the uh, mayor, Lord Mayor as he comes and sits down next to him. 
Uh, he did a good job. Uh, <laughs> Prince Anok, a uh, very stately drow, uh, or Neve, as it were, dark elf, uh, light hair cut short, and uh, high collared uh, long coat, which is uh, the fashion in oak right now. Uh, he stands up and is a very commanding presence, and the crowd very much like quiets down because this guy, he's super important. My thanks, Lord Mayor. Now some people clap and Lord Mayor nods and like, turns to the religious side. Thank you, Keeper, for holding on to the old ways. Thank you, Paladin, for championing, championing the needs of the people. Thank you, Justicar, for maintaining truth. Thank you, Tranquil, for guiding us on the firmament. Thank you, Watcher, for remaining ever vigilant of the waters. Thank you, Shepherd, for seeing us through on our final journey. And thank you all, my fellow citizens, for such a warm welcome. And indeed, while I may be Prince, I do consider myself just another fortunate soul, a descendant of those who survived. We all share in this noble legacy. 1,000 years ago, to this very day, our ancestors claimed this land from the sea and declared that life would not be washed away. That war would not destroy. That history should not be lost or broken. Here, we all stand as a testament to their resolve. In your darkest moments, in your lightest days, in the shadow of your doubts, never forget that you are of the bloodline of the strong. Maybe not physically, maybe not emotionally, but undeniably strong of will. An ocean could not consume the soul of this world, for it lies with its people. And we have stood together. We will continue to stand together regardless of heritage, size, or skill. The people of refuge, the people of the Zarkin kingdoms, and the people of Oak will always stand together. Big eruption of I cheers. Cheer. Yeah, very nice, very moving. On behalf of the King in Spring, it is my unique duty and pleasure to declare the celebration of life to begin. And there's suddenly a big popping noise and a bunch of like, confetti and stuff comes flying out in the air and people are cheering and uh, make perception checks really quick. Okay, oh. nice. Nine. Level one. Level one. I think that's a three. Okay. So, wait. It's very exciting. <laughs> Four. Super moving. No, it's actually a five. So. Okay, v very exciting. Yeah. Nine. Okay. Twelve. All right. The two of you um, start hearing some people in the back and some people springing around start to chant, the king in oak, the king, the king. And some people are like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And Kieran Deeper doesn't seem to acknowledge this. He just goes about back to his wife and starts talking to her and his advisor. Something going on. Meanwhile, uh, bands have started to play. There's musicians that are uh, mostly uh, woodwind type uh, instruments that can carry over a crowd and bounce around in this uh, stone town. And uh, you do see uh, someone calling for the registration for teams uh, just over this way. There is food, there's drink, there's lots of stuff going on. Uh, where we should I go? Uh, let's go register. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Uh, yes. Does anyone know where we go do that? 
said that there's a yeah, there's like a crier registration. I think it's that way. All right, let's head there. It's like it's a half work. It's like sign your names on the sheet. It's like. Okay, so it's a tent set up, it just says registrations and comments, and very, very easy to notice. Uh, and so you walk up, there's people in line ahead of you, and um, they come up, and there's a, a guy on us, there's a human on a stool, and he's got a table in front of him with a big parchment sheet. Okay, uh, can you write? Yes. 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 Oh, all four of you, wow. That's, sometimes it doesn't happen. Uh, Good for you. Thanks. Thanks. Now, uh, if you could put down your team name and all your names uh, onto the roll, and then we will keep you tallied on your points throughout the day. So we settle on Ash and Friends. Uh, no, okay. Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Oh. Okay. Well, let's uh, hope that. Sure. So, Maza signs her name. Okay. Chandru signs her name and writes Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, like really big. Okay. <laughs> Before he can write like, anything else. The guy is like, Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, going to hear a celebration after the world ended up in Oak Tazu writes her name. Uh, Tazu. Ash uh, writes um, Ash, Canis, in normal handwriting, and like then script. just a little tiny script and friends. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice. He's like, all right, all right. Marta, did you write your whole name, Greylock, on there, or just Marta? Uh, I wrote my whole name. Okay, Marta, Greylock, Tazu, Chandri, did you put your whole name? Just Chandri. Okay, Chandri, and Ash, Canis, and the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. It's rather... Intense name for a celebration of life, but hey, it's maybe ironic, right? Trying to because the world uh, didn't end. It kept trying going. Trying to intimidate people. I see your game. Maybe you'll get some good, uh, good, some good, some good bets on the side for you. Very good, very good. Um, anything you want to do before making your way to? Uh, you see, uh, he directs you out to. He's like, okay, uh, uh, the. Professor Gato's miraculous Mecha Magic Man happens more in the center, kind of the north part of the square, because um, it draws the biggest crowd. The uh, Dwarven Drinking Contest is like over this way. Doesn't really matter. Uh, the the, uh, the the Pine of Poke is over here, and the Quiz Archery is a little bit over here, kind of out of the way, so no one gets shot. Uh, really quick, when I was signing the sign-in sheet, did yes. I see any names that I recognized? Hmm, uh, let's say, as a quick glance, that's gonna be, which khaki is gonna be? Um, it's not investigation, what else, insight, maybe insight? No, that doesn't make it good. I guess a quick investigation with sure. uh, disadvantage, because you're doing it quickly, so you roll it twice and yeah, yeah. Eight. Uh, one of the names might be someone you're familiar with, but you're like, no, no one of importance stands okay. out to you. You're like, it's got like, get, what's he on the oars? Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe someone big, you know, rough, rough type. Uh, so, uh, which of the events, or do you want to get some food? Do you? That's all seems to be on the town here at the Mecha Magic Fair. We did just eat. Yeah, okay. I think yeah, we're good great, food great. wise. <laughs> I think we're gonna wait. Okay. I think we should save the dwarven drinking. If that's even event. drinking. That's true. <laughs> but to be safe, we should probably save it for last. Yeah, I don't yeah, want I any so. wild blades I going to right. Um I'm kind of ready to just get started. Yeah, which one do you guys want to do first? I mean, I we could warm up. The group. Warm up with a little uh, pie and a pie poke. and a poke. Or is, is yeah. that gonna? Our stomachs might be too heavy for the fighting. <laughs> no, I it, think we'll be okay. Think all right, we'll great. Fine. All right, cool. Okay. Let's do it. All right, you make your way over to where the pie and the poke is. Uh, you see uh, uh, some half elves that are taking. Actually, let's look at the, my citizen sheet here. Who could be running the pie and the poke? <laughs> uh, Yes. 
Uh, let's go with... Yeah, there, there's a half-elf uh, that is that is running the, the pie-in-the-poke race. Like, all right, come on your way over. He looks a lot like you. Uh, tan skin, dark hair. Uh, very good. Okay, uh, what's your team? We are the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Great. And uh, it's a relay race, so two of you on one side, two on the other. Who wants to start? I think you should yeah. start. All right, I'll start. Couple other teams up against you. Uh, no Mercy. <laughs> uh, and uh, Goliath and Friends. Oh, wow. Uh, oh. What are the... So there's a relay. What are the rules? I guess I'm right. 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 Okay. So uh, you uh, you get in the, the poke, and you gotta hop your way against somebody to the other side. Great. You gotta eat a pie, and then you can give your poke to your team, and then they go and do the same. Got it. And uh, the the small folk get a half a pie just to be fair, <laughs> and like the Goliath is gonna do a double size. Great. For fairness. It's oh. always worked out well in the years <laughs> past. Tessie yeah. might have to eat two pies. She's not, not that big. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm small for a dragon board. I yeah, don't think yeah. I said at the beginning that it, the tail Tazzy's, is what makes her size. Tessie's <laughs> only like five eleven. Like she's yeah. two hundred pounds, yeah. but she's small for a dragon board. Yeah, God, yeah. God, God, God. Very good. Uh, there's a uh, quite a number of different types of pies. I hope you got the constitution. Great. <laughs> Let's find out. What's our order? Well, I'm going first, right? Uh, yeah. I'll go second. Okay. I'll, I'll go. I'll go third. We can be our buddy. I will be. I will bring it home. Yes, I will bring it home. Yeah. Great. All right. Let's do it. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, so they're gathering people. There's a bunch of kids. They love the pie and the poke. They, and like, uh, the kids of the town, they, there's a, a good game. They're traveling children as well. I make a uh, face at one of them. They're like, yeah, they're, they're, you scare a halfling baby. Uh, and then behind the halfling baby, the, uh, there's a uh, a small uh, tiefling child that giggles at uh, that. Um, seems to be with uh, not tiefling parents. And, uh, then, uh, uh, yeah, so you're getting things, people are getting geared up, maybe you hear a couple of kids being like, I can do this, it'll be so good, fine folk. Um, so you're getting geared up, so, uh, the Goliath is gonna go first against you, of his team. <laughs> yeah, his, legs are, his legs are twice as long as mine, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, his poke is pretty big, they seem like they have a secondary one in the back. That the, his teammate has got, has got a weight to put on. Uh, they've figured this all out over the years. Uh, no mercy. Just another. It's a gnome. It's got like green hair, and he looks like hungover but stoked. Uh, <laughs> the the uh, bird bird and mice team uh, are there as well, and they're uh, the Tengu like raven person is going to be going. Uh, they're they're going first too. So. Um, you ready? You line up. They've got a they've got a whistle ready to go, and so you need to make when they call it to go. You're going to be making a, a dex checks uh, for your speed in this, or acrobatics uh, or athletics, whichever one you think is best for you. Ooh, acrobatics. Dex. Yeah, or even performance. You're going to do acrobatics. Great. Yeah. Uh, so you don't get tied up in things. So we're going to be doing acrobatic rolls. So they, uh, they count down, three, two, one, so roll your acrobatics. Ooh, yeah. 22. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Yes. Okay, and uh, you're, uh, the, way better you're keeping this. pace with the Goliath. The yes. Tengu seems to be wrapped up in the thing, and the gnome seems to be trying to do something. He's stuck in the back. <laughs> there we go. Let's just roll it again. Roll it again. So hungover. People are cheering. Uh, uh, that looks a little hot, so you can roll that again. Okay. Ooh. Eleven. Okay, so that you, you passed the Goliath, but yes. one of the no, the gnomes seems to have like somehow pulled the sack up into his crotch. You got his feet down in spaces, and it somehow started to catch up. <laughs> oh no! Cheater! Um, and, and the, Cheater! Yeah, he's. I mean, uh, he's doing it. And his gnome friends are like, yeah. <laughs> um, and the 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 Tingu's not doing great. All right, here we go. Go. Twelve. 
So I'll be doing okay, okay. And oh, they rolled. They all rolled very poorly. So you take, you oh, get yes. an advantage. Woo! And here's the last one coming up to who's next? I am. Okay. Maza. So she's got to eat her pie first, though. Oh, is so, this constitution? So no, this is still this is the last leg here oh, okay. of you getting up to Marza. Good lord. Oh, good. Ten. Yeah. Ten. Okay, so uh, you just beat the Goliath. He matches up to you, wow. and the uh, the gnome and the Tingu are, are are behind you. So now you're gonna start eating against the Goliath. You're gonna be making. Uh, you can do performance, sleight of hand, maybe try to cheat a little. You could do medicine to just stuff it down your <laughs> gullet, uh, or just a constitution. I'm just gonna check. do a constitution. Okay, great con against the Goliath, here we go. Eight. Okay, okay, he seems to be like, he's taking a whole half a pie, just boom, you've got a good bite going on, roll again. Trying to get it down, trying to get it down. Yes. Ooh. 21. <laughs> nice, that's very good. Oh, I forgot for you to roll what type of pie here. Uh, roll roll the d20. Forgot I made this thing. Oh, to see what kind yeah, of pie yeah, it yeah. is? Yeah, yeah, We'll see what type of pie it is. Uh, six. Six, okay, uh, it's apple. It's very sweet, Ooh. but you think you can knock it down. So you've gotten two good bites out of the Goliath is done with his first pie and onto his second. You're almost done though. You're, you're pretty much two thirds of the way through. Natural one. No, oh no! no. You, uh, <laughs> you you start to get a little sick, and you gotta like mm, you can't quite get that last third down. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. She's maybe a little green. Uh, the Goliath is almost done with his other pie. Roll again. There we go. That's better. Eighteen. All right. He just in and goes home, oh. and then his uh, one of his compatriots grabs the sack and starts going. You get yours down. Marza, start doing. How, how would you like to uh, acrobatics, athletics, performance? Uh, performance. Okay, and you're gonna have to describe what your performance in the sack is like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Unintended joke. I was like, no, you made this game just for that. Uh, Sixteen. It's a poke, not a sack. Sixteen. <laughs> Sixteen. Okay. Uh, and Mars is kind of short, so the sack comes about up here. Okay. She kind of hops like a bunny, but sort of like falling over, trying to get her balance. But she can keep up straight. And she's like, <laughs> pretty good okay. bunny hop. Huh? She looks the, back. <laughs> the crowd, the crowd likes that your uh, your attempt and skill at yes. this. It's uh, you're not you're not keeping up with uh, the Goliath's person. They uh, they were ahead of you to begin with. That's okay. Let's roll again. Seventeen. The uh, the Goliath and friends have had a human that's pressing issue. The human falls. Yes. They're down. You're good, uh, and you're you're still like doing better than the other teams. Like they're way behind you at the moment. So you're hopping and doing your thing. Let's do it one more time here. I think you better roll twice more. Let's see if they can get up. Okay, they're good. Seventeen. Beautiful. So they got up and started moving, but you are just like wow. and you're coming up. Who's next? Yes. Uh, you, does she oh. to eat? She does, but I don't know. Oh, she's okay. Me. Okay, okay. You're on deck. She's coming up to you. Okay, one last roll. Seventeen. <laughs> okay, you beat the human wow. to uh, to get up to them, and then the uh, the one of the gnomes is actually starting to catch up, but they're not quite. And uh, the the mouseling that took over, he he's hauling ass, but he's not quite there. <laughs> oh um, dear. So uh, now it's time to eat a pie. Roll like for what thing. pie you get. Nineteen. All right. Uh, this one. I finally found good dice. It smells <laughs> a little fishy. Oh god. Uh, no. uh, I'm not one for savory pies. Yeah. This is Maza thinking. Yeah. This one's gonna be uh, harder. For you to eat, it's gonna to be tough to keep it down. Oh. So, uh. I the, grew around fish my whole life, I hate it. Okay, oh. go ahead and roll one. You're gonna be, and because of that, you're gonna roll disadvantage. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. So Don't give the DM twice. information. <laughs> right. Um, what am I rolling for? Uh, uh, constitution? Constitution, or if you wanna try sleight of hand to try to hide it, if you wanna try. Uh, medicine, just to shove it down. We're gonna do medicine, try and shove it down. Okay, just like the doctor said. Oh no, Ooh. four. Okay, and roll disadvantage, roll again. Oh, that's right. Damn it, that was an 18! <laughs> I had to take the two! Yeah, you do. Okay, so uh, four. You bite into it, um, it's uh, it's oyster and oh. spinach. Oh. Right, it's gross, the texture is not great. The texture is not great. Oh. 
Um, oh. mm-hmm. It's tough. Uh, Why is the, she struggling? It's just pie. Yeah, you do not understand what's going on. And people are like, ooh, and one of the kids is like, I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, people are cheering. It's part of the getting the gross pie is uh, it's so you know, the part family. of the game. Uh, <laughs> the, the gnome actually catches up to him and starts going and just starts laughing because he's got a, a nice pie, apparently. Um, <laughs> That's uh, just quite rude of right. him, So now let's roll again here for you trying to get this down. Uh, the second time, not at disadvantage. I'll let you try just to go for it. It didn't really help. Um, eight. Eight. Okay, you're, you're working it. You're working it. Oh! Uh, uh, the the gnome got real exuberant about this custard pie and like accidentally mushed it in his hands and it fell to the ground. Yes. And his team is like, no! Yes. So they're like, he's trying. That's that crit one for him. So, yes! so, uh, Roll again. The 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 mouseling, he, he's going at it. He's happy. Uh, and this uh, human that was on the Goliath team is, is going good. Okay, let's see if you can get this pie now. Twenty. Yes! Oh, yes! So yeah, you you like. You're seeing the the gnome dropping his pie has given you a little encouragement, but in like the competition with this mouseling is starting to like you're like there's no way I'm gonna let the mouseling beat me even with this gross pie. Oh. You're like I gotta represent tieflings across yes. the, the merry sea. Tiefling, you're feeling it, and so you just start shoving in the pie. You you get you got one more. You got most of it. You're now ahead of everybody else. You got one more smash. It's gross. You're swallowing the oysters hollow. You're not even chewing them. And they're just sliding down. It's really oh. gross. All right. One more go before. Seven. That's fine. You, uh, it's your little green, but you get it uh, in time for for Ash to start. Great. Pull up your poke, and uh, how would you like, what uh, what type of. Did you say acrobatics, <gasps> athletics, yes. and performance? Dexterity, performance, if you want. Uh, well, you gotta describe your performance like she did a bunny hop. Let's do, <laughs> let's do uh, athletics. Athletics. Okay, your your uh, prowess at just being able to be athletic. Let's so. let's go. Let's okay. Do this. Here we go. Uh, eight. All right. Not a great start for you. Um, you're still ahead, but you, you you've beaten because of that twenty. You, you you still got off ahead before I great. So let's go. Excellent. All right. Let's what go. What does your hop look like? Ooh, four. Okay. I'm, oh, I'm good. struggling. I'm uh, struggling. No, no mercy has caught up to you somehow. No, no mercy. Uh, <laughs> somehow, no, no mercy, not 20, and just okay. got there. But you're still ahead of the other two. All right. Okay. Oh, he's not doing 20. Good. Okay, 20. Uh, dirty 20? A dirty 20. Okay. Uh, dirty 20, good. You're so, because that's good, because no mercy rolled a 19. So you're, you're keeping ahead of him. Great. You're doing great. You're, you're feeling, you're like, man, I, I should have been in more like sack races. Yeah. A <laughs> performer. You yeah, know? yeah, I missed uh, falling. And those other teams are behind you. Here we go. Uh, 15. Uh, you, you're, you're way out pacing. Oh. No mercy now. Uh, your omen was at three? That was three, right? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, the mouseling. Uh, second mouse number two has caught up and he, you see him kind of back behind you, but there's no way he's going to catch you. No way. And the other team, they're, they're struggling. Um, the Goliath is like, come on, <laughs> get there. <laughs> like, you know, and he's just upset. His whole team's letting him down. It's just, he is, he is, he, you know, he had such a strong start. Um, and so here we go. Last, last roll for you. You, you are in front. Uh, 12. 12. Nice. Uh, the team in the back, maybe he's catching up, but just not close enough. The, no, the no mercy just can't keep up. You make your way there. Yes. All right. Uh, can I do medicine for eating this? Okay. Roll, or are you going to roll the uh, roll, roll the twenty? See what pie you got. Oh, that's a good one. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, not to everyone's liking a custard pie. How? How mm. do you feel about custard pie? It's a Neutral. little bit. It's a little bit upper crust. It's not. It's it's upper crust. Yeah, it's a little fancy. Oh, it's a little fancy. Then I like it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and, and getting a custard pie is a little yeah, fancy. So maybe like just it. right for you. So yeah. some people don't like it. Some people do. So you're like, oh, I've got it. So, I like this. So all right, not going to be too difficult. How would you like to try to consume? Uh, what are my options? One of them was medicine. Medicine is good if you want to try to force it down uh, and like eat as technically as possible. Okay. Uh, 
Um, you could do performance for, you know, making a show of it to the crowd. I'm not gonna do that. You could do uh, a <laughs> sleight of hand to try to like smush it nah. and make shape out of it maybe. You know, that's kind of the hot dog eating contest where he, you know, he dunks it, dunks yeah. the bun in the water so he can smash it and then does the dog, you know, so. Uh, Mm. However you want to, uh... I'm gonna do medicine. Yeah. Medicine. Alright, you're just like, I'm gonna technically just gonna eat it. I guess it's kind of technical eating too. So yeah, you're like, I got it. Yeah. Custard pie, I can kind of like, you're gonna like rip off the crust and show it down and it's like slurp the custard and like, you're gonna go yes. for it. So, oh, very, all right, technical, so very technical. Very so technical let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Seven. Seven. Okay. No, no, so, an eight. Eight. Great. Uh, it's... No, seven. Seven. Okay, seven. That's seven. fine. They're about the same. <laughs> Five. Uh, two. Seven. Seven. <laughs> crust is a little, uh, it seems like it maybe got baked a little bit too much. So it's like, oh, the crust is a little, a little tooth on it, more toothy than you're expecting. Expect. But, but you're still putting it down. Okay, let's do it again. Uh, I think I should re-roll that. Is it cocked? Yeah, it's cocked. Uh, yeah, it's kind of cocked. Yeah. I'll let you. Okay. Uh, that. <laughs> 17. Nice. So, oh yeah. Oh, you're like. Yeah. Oh yeah. I knew I was like. <laughs> you're like halfway through the pie. No mercy. He he's got his half pie, and then he goes oysters. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so he, he, he is stoked. That's um, but he, he he just took one bite, and you're halfway through your pie already. Great, great. So let's roll again. Fourteen. Good. Yeah. 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 You're just going through it. You're ah, ah, ah. just. You know, not even a problem. Uh, may, maybe the spinach is turning a little bit for the the gnome. He's just like, ah! <laughs> um, and it's a last, last roll to get this pie down for you. <sighs> Uh-oh, eight. Uh, maybe that gnome was just putting on a show because he vomits. Oh, no! Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Crit fail for the gnome. Oh. Uh, so yeah, yeah. And what was your total? Eight. Eight. Not a problem, not a problem. You're in the last bit of your pie. You're just starting to, you're like, man, that, I ate a heavy breakfast and I'm getting full, but you you get it down. So Great. boom. Awesome. Let's be. All right, how do you, what do you want to use to get across? Um, I would like to use acrobatics. Nice, good choice. Uh, you really don't have any competition at this point in time, so let me go ahead and roll. Well, we'll be seeing how that goes. Uh, that's a nine. Okay, that's I have yet to roll yeah, uh, over a nine. Uh, we have a button. We have a button. Oh no! Oh, um, it's a little, little. Goodbye. Mom. Get out! Of, get out of the show. You're you are not part of the show, friend. <laughs> uh, so I rolled a nine. A okay. Well, light. you are you are uh, leagues ahead of everyone because of uh, this gnome that was really gonna be like no mercy was gonna be the competition. But like that vomiting is like penalized. They have like their counting <laughs> no down. No more. No more. Will they Ooh. be competition? So they might be. They might be out of this game. The other people are starting to do. But you're, you're out there. Let roll again. <laughs> Seven. You know the tail and the poke. It's a little difficult. You're a little cramped. <laughs> but you're moving. You're moving. It's just not great. You're not like you. You felt so sure to yourself. But then it's like, ah, it's this damn poke. I'm proficient in acrobatics. Yeah. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, the other two are going to go. Okay, so, um, No Mercy starts to move very slowly, and the, uh, the other, the, the owling, he, he's starting to hop. But you're, you're still ahead, so let's roll, roll again. Come on. Oh my god. Natural one. <laughs> oh no! Alright, so you, uh, you fall. <laughs> oh no! I'm getting more nice. Tazu. <laughs> yeah. All right, you fall. Uh, that's okay because we got a two and an eight here. So, uh, no mercy is like eight feet behind you. The other team is like sixteen feet behind you. So, uh, roll. Uh, how would you like to get try to get up? <laughs> I will. Can I? Since I'm is uh, since I'm proficient in acrobatics, can I try and like? Do a like as I'm falling, do a roll and like jump back up onto my feet. You can certainly try. Okay. Better? Eleven. All right, you get up. You get up. <laughs> it's, it's impressive. The crowd's like, woo! Yeah, and someone's yeah. like, four horsemen! <laughs> yes! Lose me money! Yeah! yeah. So, That's our team! Yeah, so. Represent. Uh, uh, okay. Um, okay, good. So uh, you're moving. So let's uh, let's roll roll again. 
Hey, that's the highest I've rolled yet tonight. So, uh, 15. Okay, so you yeah. get moving, you're almost there. You can see the finish line. You're ahead of the other things. The, the trip, the, the fall, you know, it, it messed you up your time, but you're still doing great. And one last roll, let's see if they can net 20 themselves and finish up. Uh, eight. Eight, okay, that's fine. You, you make it, maybe not be graceful but you make your way across that finish line and uh, like one of the scorekeepers are tallying the time, but it's like for the run, but you gotta eat your pie. So let's let's roll. Watch is gonna be a 19. See what kind of pie you get. No, it's not. It likes the sixes tonight, so that's a six. Six, um, this is peach. So okay. not too bad. Mm. Uh, should be pretty easy to put down. No one got the potato leak. Mm -hmm. uh, but- uh, you might not have ate that it. one. <laughs> Uh, so let's uh, roll for you eating pie. How would you like to? Eat? Um, you said I could do constitution, mm -hmm. medicine. I'm gonna do medicine. We're doing a technical eating today. Technical eating. <laughs> technical eating. Oh, oh, yay! That's good. Um, medicine. Eighteen. Yeah, you, you take like, <laughs> like a third of it in your your Saurian face and just, <laughs> and just take a huge chunk. And there's one like. Tiefling child's like, what? <laughs> uh, you just like blew his mind on how big a bite you took. Um, even the, the half Goliath looks kind of impressed. <laughs> uh, all right, so a couple of them are now caught up and they're gonna try to start eating their pie. You get your second bite. Mm, not, not terrible. Uh, what did I say, medicine? Th 13. Yeah. No problem, no problem. You can take like another good chunk out of it, feeling good, it's tasty, well-baked pie. You see up in the corner, you know, pie is brought to you by the Donut, <laughs> Wiglin, Wigwin Stout Leaf proprietor. See out the corner of your eye, and you're like, man, I might have to go to the Donut. The Donut. Um, right uh, the Donut. The Donut. Local bakery. Uh, I assume that's dough, like dough. Yeah, like, like dough, dough, and dough. not like a knot. Ah, you don't ah. say. You don't say. Oh, don't know. That's how this pun works. <laughs> I'm there. Quite okay. a few puns here. Well, well, Lately, let's roll and see what you can do. Okay, okay. Um, 14. Nice. Uh, you, you are almost ready. You got like one bite. You just couldn't quite get it in. Um, the other two, they're chowing down on their pies, the 15 and a 19, but you feel confident. Mm -hmm. One last roll. Here we go. Nice, no problem. You take it, you smash it, swallow, and you open your mouth to show the judges. Ah. And in your excitement, maybe a little spark in the back of your mouth. Uh, and the scorekeeper is like, Write <laughs> 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 it down. People are like, yeah, four horses. Yeah. Four horses. Four horses. Four horses. And the other people are smashing pies, finally, like, the the Goliath and Friends team, their person Good. finally gets up there and starts hitting the pie, but you guys like you outpaced them. Last like the, you know, the other teams that are come later, maybe they'll do better, but you have made a good showing for the start of the day. Yeah. Uh, with the end of that first event, we are going to take our intermission. Yay! Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a snack. Oh, snack. Oh, is it no, snack or treat? I don't know. Welcome back to the very first episode of Fables of Refuge. Yeah! Yay! Welcome back, welcome back. We don't, we don't have players. Welcome. Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you just won the pie and a poke. Pie and uh, poke. Where, which event would you like to participate in next? You have the quiz archery, the dwarven drinking contest, which I think you want to do last. Yeah. <laughs> and Professor Gatto's miraculous mecha mechanical man. Oh, I'm very magic full. Mechanical? That was harder than expected. Mecha magic man. <laughs> well, let's do quiz archery then. Maybe uh, that would be easier on our stomachs. I like that. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Yeah. Especially with the, the mecha magic, and sometimes that can get a little much on the body. So. Even though it's not to the death. <laughs> yes, no. This is a party. No, we're, we're not here to have a good time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you uh, have good insight there, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, quiz archery. Quiz, quiz archery. Quiz archery. Uh, so you uh, see the sign, 
and you start making your way over there. There's lots of people drinking and celebrating and you know, to get in to the, the Prince and Oak and you hear uh, you know, lots of cheers, Lord Mayor, like people are having a really good time. Some people are getting a little more sauced than others. Mm. Um, lots of different type of folk have come to get in for this wonderful millennial event. So uh, you make way over to Quiz Archery and uh, there is a, a large human um, uh, in charge and uh, he's like, all right, next team. This is an individual team event. So while you are competing against other teams, uh, it's really all about your score. So we can go at your leisure. Uh, there are four questions. You get four arrows for every question you get wrong. Questions first. You get further and further away from the target. And uh, you can either shoot an arrow individually or you can uh, designate a, an archer. I However have, you desire. I have never shot archery, so I would probably not be the best person for shooting. No, I only do it if I have to. I'm pretty good with it, though. I'm decent, but it's not my weapon of choice, so I'd defer to you for this one. <laughs> yes, All right, I'm Ash, going to. I guess player. you're the best one for I'm the this. Su- the support will come to the forefront All right. on this one. <laughs> Very good. All right. So he uh, uh, hands you a bow. Great for you to start like feeling out to get used to. It's it's a woodsman's bow. It's uh, a little long. Uh, nothing you're not used to. And Great. Well made. It's not. It's pretty simple, but it's it's very well made. Excellent. Uh, if you're in the market for uh, for bows, you can uh, of course come to uh, myself, Zeb Cooper, the carpenter, uh, the store down the lane, uh, as cut would have it. Cut wood. Have it. Thank you. Thank you for laughing. Uh, my wife, she said, don't name the store that. I did it. I just cut wood. Follow yes. your dreams, yes, man. Santa. That's why I laughed. Thank you. Uh, also, if you need uh, any uh, cart work, my son is a quite good wheelwright, just so you know. Anyway, uh, welcome to Ginnon. Outsiders, travelers, citizens, uh, are you ready for the quiz? Let's do it. I think so. The the Lord Mayor's husband picked these out especially, and Yama is a very clever person. Am I allowed to also participate with the answering? Absolutely, but once you say an answer, that's your answer. So, don't just shout something out because that might ruin your chances. So, but we can confer with each other. Absolutely. Great, 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 great. All right, let's start things off in honor. Who? Is the prince in oak? Oh, his name is Kieran Deeprut. Kieran, 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 yes. Kieran Deeprut. Kieran Deeprut. Final answer? Yeah, that is. Very good. What is it? Kieran Deeprut. Kieran Deeprut. Yes, indeed. Kieran Deeprut, prince in oak. Maybe king someday. Now, ah, getting deeper into the lore of our world. What was the Everwar's second greatest sin? Now I will say as a DM, you can roll intelligence check. <laughs> can I roll a history check? You sure can. Okay. Yes, I'd like to roll a history check. Okay, very good. Uh, Freaking six. really? I got a new die. Six. 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 <laughs> Sixteen. 16 for your intelligence. So yeah. this, this, would, this could be either uh, history or, uh, did you say intelligence? History or intelligence, yeah. 12. 12. Just Good. Intelligence. Seven. And the lower rolls of you are like, ah, it's something with the sky. Something with the, the, the sky. sky. Wait, what was the question again? What? was the Everwar's second greatest sin. It had something to do with the sky. I don't, I I was, I was, I did not like to study. (laughs) I missed that when I was was, uh, studying. There's just so many different versions that it's, my family taught me more of what they believe in. (sighs) Um, Oh, wait, Is, is this about, the, the 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 tiefling history where there was many that went and there was a great storm that came over them. And that was thanks to the war. Yeah. 
Oh. Do I remember so. anything because of my 16? Um. Yes. Yeah, so how do I clue this for you? Not just a gig. Ah. It is uh, pertaining to a heavenly body. Oh, oh, the moon. oh right, right, right. Oh, oh, oh my moon. That's yes. right. It was the, the destruction, or the. They caused the, part of the moon to. To break away. Yeah, that's right. That's yes. why we might the, see random, like, shooting stars going by. Mm-hmm. And pieces okay, of the Okay, so, the, so the, you said the moon? Yeah, the, so the the moon was shattered during the Ever War, so I would say it's that. Okay, go. Yes, yes. 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 We, we, have have a, we have a second to answer. Very good. Yeah, when the moon got shattered. Yes, indeed, the shattering of Murat. Yes, Chandri, clutch. Very nice, very nice. My players did their homework. <laughs> ah, all right. Third question might be easier for you, saying of the makeup of your team. Where did the great calling bring the tieflings? Uh, well, that's to the, the, gra- the I desert. Don't know. It was the desert, yes. I don't remember. Was it the sea of grass or the desert? Mm-hmm. Roll intelligence or history, whichever one you think is better. Nine. Hmm. Definitely desert, but it's a specific. Wait, one. what was history? <sighs> okay, um, sixteen. Sixteen. Ah. Uh, it's not the desert of life. It is. Desert. Is Some, it? Something about the, the uh, desert of death. Yes, death's desert. <laughs> there you go. You have done it. So you figured okay. it out. That's it. Okay, okay, that's your answer. So you gotta give it to. Okay. Um, our answer Mr. is the desert of death. Death's death. Death's death desert. desert. Well, Sorry, sometimes oh. I get tongue tied. I'll let it slide. Death I'll let desert. It slide. I don't expect tieflings to know that right away, but that's all right. Great. Very good. Thank death's you. Desert. All right. Final question so far. You're doing very well. For any. Archer worth his salts, you should be just fine. All right, uh, well, let's not keep our expectations too high. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Uh, how does Ori Calcum nullify magic? Uh, how? I mean, I know that it does. It's I don't in know the primer. <laughs> I don't know magic. I, I read it and I can't remember it. Knowledge Arcana for you. Ooh, 16. Very good. What are you rolling? 10. Four. 10. Of what? Hmm? Oh, Arcana. <laughs> arcana. Do you have knowledge Arcana? What is that? What does that mean? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> magic. That was magic. Uh, that was a knowledge of magic, which I think you don't use arcane magic, so. Um, that's fine. Uh, you rolled high enough to know that uh, no one's really sure. So, uh, uh, insight checks, which I believe is, uh, is it insight in this game? Yes. Yes. Yes, insight checks on this. Well, all yeah. of us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're conferring with one another about. Nine. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nine. Maybe you're picking up on it. Seven. You're not. Sixteen. <laughs> Trick <laughs> question. Nice. For sure. You're like, wait a minute, this is guys, she just said that no one knows. This has got to be a trick. Yeah, I, I, no, one, gotta be a... no one really knows exactly how he does it. Right. How it does it. How it does it. Yeah. Um, so. Did you, what was the question again? How does Ori Calcum nullify magic? It does. Yeah. It does. <laughs> <laughs> but no oh, one. Does. Oh, wait, is it is it channeling? It can nullify channeling. Nullify channeling. Like you, 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 you picked it up. You've already got it. It does. It does. No one knows. No one knows. No one knows. Okay, answer. All right. Um, it's a trick question. No one knows. Guys, go for it's it. a trick question. No one knows. Very good. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. The quiz of the archery is done. You have four arrows, and here is a target. You are at 50 feet. Congratulations. 50 feet. Mm-hmm. Um, Should be well within range for you. Great. <laughs> uh, so, what? That, so that. You, you've got, uh, let me double check on your thing here. Um, you've got attack 
simple martial weapons. Hunter's Mark small attack. Where's your uh, just your regular bow attack? Um, it's not good. Must be two, and I think you get to add your proficiency bonus, which is two. So you're at plus four on your for my bow. For your bow, yeah, I think so. Yeah, you'd probably be, you'd probably be up here. We bow plus four attack bonus, and then we'll double check the damage here. But damage doesn't matter. You're just shooting a target at this moment. We'll uh, pull that out. Damage would be one d eight. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So yeah, you're. Uh, or does anyone want to do anything while uh, Ash is gearing up the shoot? I am. I am not helpful in this at all. <laughs> I think the goal is to hit the target straight in the middle. Thank you, you that? for that contra- we will find out. Alright then. Um, uh, do I use my hit die for this? No, you're gonna use that plus four on a d20 roll. Oh, for really? a bow attack. Yeah, okay. So the hit die would be for my uh, source? Hit, hit die is for your hit points and things. So, uh, yeah, I know hit uh, makes kind of yeah. sense, but yeah. Uh, you just roll this is Shows a, what I know. Yeah, this is just an attack roll. Uh, so you get plus four with a bow. Six. Ooh. All right, this first one, you, make, uh, you you pull up going, but you just right next to the target. Oh, this is Ooh. good. Mmm. Uh, that would be an 18. Yeah. Thunk right into it. Yeah. Oh, better, better. All right. Much better. That's a 22. Oh yeah, bullseye. Yeah. Boop. Boop. Yeah. Oh. And a nine. Oh, just shaped it. Sorry guys. Ooh. One solid hit, one bullseye. All right, all right. We'll calculate your points under, uh, what was the team name again? Uh, uh, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Oh, right. Four Horsemen of the Co- Apocalypse featuring, featuring Ash and Friends. Okay, I'm sure it'll be on featuring. the- Featuring. Featuring. <laughs> also Casey with. and the Shun- Sunshine Band. Very good. All right. Well, good luck. Hopefully someone's making some money off of you. And hopefully you'll make some money too. Great. That, that good was, job, guys. That was Sorry, admirable that, was... that I could not have shot any better. Good effort. If I know how to throw darts, I could throw darts at it, but I don't think that that is... I don't think it's quite the same skill set. They no. could be part of the dwarven drinking, though. That's Maybe. Right. We don't know what that is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's true. Yeah. But before then, oh yes, we Mecha have Magic to fight Man. The, yes, the big, the big man. Yes, let's, let's do it. Let's go meet. Uh, what's his name? Professor Gato. So as you're walking your way over to the the main area of the fair, where Professor Gato has set up his ring, and there's uh, there's people on all sides, and there's lots of commotion going on. As you're walking up there, two. Uh, dark elf twins, maybe about seven or eight, one male, one female. They come uh, running past you and are like, ah, Apocalypse horses! Ah. <laughs> Adorable. And they stop and they're staring and you're like, Think you're gonna win? It's I mean, quite a possibility at yeah, all, right? I don't see why not. <laughs> think you're heroes of the town? They think they're heroes of the town. She's like, They do think they're heroes of the town. <laughs> who, do you, who do you think the heroes of the town are? I'm not too worried about here's the town. You should worry about yourself. Okay. You're very rude to little children. Hey, have you guys seen this like wizard guy around? Half elf guy? No. 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 Okay, he's trouble. He's watch out for him. He's trouble. What do you mean? You'll know when you see him. Shifty. Works with the prince. Don't like him. Works with the prince. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And you said he's a half elf? Yeah. Half of a light hair. Oh, was he standing on the stage? He right? was. Yeah. Hey. What team is he a part of? Oh no, he's he's with the prince. He's not on anybody's team. Oh, he's okay. Just he's just trouble. He's trouble, trouble. And they giggle, kind of run around you a little bit, and they're like, "Okay, bye," and they take off. I don't spend much time around children, but. Are they all like 
Yes, unfortunately. Well, all of them? Not all. There's a small percentage that are much more well behaved. Yeah, that seemed weird though, right? Yeah, it did seem it seemed weird. weird. Yeah, especially because that's the, the Prince of Oak. I mean, you'd think that most people he'd keep in his company were good. You would hope right. so, but yeah. that isn't always the case. With it's true, especially if kids are saying it. It's quite odd. Do you think they're like planning something? Also, how did they know? Not the kids, the, oh, the right. I don't half know. elf working with the prince. Do you think they're planning something? I don't know what they would be planning. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh dear. Maybe a cat has a entered, cat the, has entered the, the battle arena. <laughs> There's a dragon Player on the table. Player five has entered. <laughs> One oh, cat good thing. for the As game. Miss Luna Lovegood. <laughs> And we knew it was going to happen. All right. I'm really excited it did, actually. <laughs> one, one cat. Uh, I would like to like look at the stage, like where the prince was, and see. Because are they like watching from there? Um, no, that that uh, that they seem to have moved on. They're oh. they're at uh, maybe watching different events or hosting somewhere uh, at the moment. The, okay. st- the stage itself is clear. Gotcha. Well, let's keep an eye out if we see that guy. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit odd. Again. All right. Um, well, all right, let's go ahead and head over to the Mecha Magic Man. All right. Uh, you head over, and uh, uh, the, the last bout is finishing up. You see a large metal construction. Uh, he it has arms and a head and legs, and it's a shiny metallic material that's blue and purple and green and all sorts of colors. Uh, make Knowledge checks, either knowledge or intelligence. Knowledge local, I guess. And knowledge all is fine because it's. I don't there have knowledge. There's no knowledge. Pathfinder. Pathfinder. No. Okay, so yeah. just uh, intelligence. Oh, no, intelligence. No, no, kitty, no, that's my die. 20. No, 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 kitty, no. Three. Beautiful. Eight. Um, Woo! Uh, intelligence, you said? Yes. Look at him. Ooh. 12. 12, okay, that's good. Sorry, what was it again, Carter? Uh, three. Three. Um, <laughs> you, you are kind of familiar with this because of your background, but it seems like this is probably Mecha Magic Metal. Uh, the high roller, uh, this is indeed, this is a rare commodity. This metal uh, is from the ancient empire of ashes and a part of their uh, Mecha Magic technology. It looks just like it. Um, he's formed it into some kind of construct. And uh, it's just finishing pummeling uh, a gnome to the ground. Ooh. Mm. And people are cheering, and then it like T poses and writes itself. <laughs> and uh, people cheer, and they come pick up the, the, have the gnome off the ground, and uh, the, he, he's okay. They, they, they down a potion on him, and he raises his fist, and people cheer. Uh, so, uh, and then out in front, there there comes a uh, a gnome in a like tuxedo with a large top hat, and well, well, who is going to be next fighting my marvelous, ma- miraculous, mecha magic man? I, of course, am Professor Gatto. For those who don't know, and this is a con- my construction raised from the depths and bringing the ancient empire to life here on this very day. Huh. Now, who's next? Which team will be battle- battling my construction? Uh, that would be the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Please very make your good. acquaintance. Oh, my pleasure, my dear, my pleasure. Of course, he takes your hand and kisses. He's like, yes, yes. very good, very good. Uh, please step into the ring. Now, he calls out to the crowd, the four horsemen of the apocalypse! And a couple of people go, boo! Boo! <laughs> and some cheers, are like, woo! Chandri like flips off the boo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> very, uh, they're like, very conspicuous name uh, for such an uh, auspicious and wonderful day that was post the apocalypse. I do believe that uh, my mecha magic miraculous man will be more than enough for them. You're like, woo! Doubt it. Like, well then, take your positions. Uh, so right there is there. a there is a ring. Uh, 
that he is in. Let's give you a little bit of space here. And I to there. You guys can fit yourself. There's crowds all around. He's in the middle. Oh, sorry. What's our, what's our point of action? We've never fought together. Yeah, you can you can uh, confer with one another before uh, you start the battle officially. You use weapons. Yes. I have a stick and my claws. I uh, wouldn't keep it. Good start. I'd like to see that in action, but we'll I'll see how it, it goes. Yeah, no, looking forward to it. Well, um, as we know, I am a support player, so... Are you going to shoot it? I will shoot it. Better than you shot the target? I'll hit a bullseye multiple times this time. Mm. <laughs> uh, if we're... If we're hitting it up close and he's shooting at it, isn't that gonna like affect your aim or something? If you guys, that's a good point. If you guys try and stay in front of the thing, I can try and shoot it from behind. I only take a shot if you're not in the way. All right, we're trusting you. You were like a 50-50 shooter there, so we'll see what happens. Just know that if you shoot me, you're gonna get a knuckle sandwich afterwards, I, I right? understand, I, I, And I don't uh, think you want to shoot the dragon bone, I'm pretty sure. I will Taza. not like that very much. I, I think Taza can crush you. I, yes. I uh, will accept the, the risk. See, I don't know, since it's made of metal though, I don't know if like, regular weapons are gonna do anything to it. Like, well, I have metal weapons, what are they gonna do, like, ting? Like, Maybe we want our, like... I have never fought something that is not sparring partner, so we will find out. That instills a great amount of confidence, thank I you. I am good sparring partner. I'm, we'll see. Marza, um, what about you? Well, Got any anti-metal, mecha-metal spells? No, not quite. Um, let's see, I can put him to sleep. Do that first. I think that would be the best Does idea. It Does it sleep if it is machine? I guess we shall find out. It's worth Maybe a try. it can turn it to That's true. off or I something. I'm not. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Um. I can also cause sort of a um, like a thunderstorm or a rumble in the ground. Maybe that can knock him off his feet. Mm, yeah. By thunderstorm, do you mean like a, a lightning attack? Like no, just attack? the rumble of the thunder. Oh, so right. I don't know mm -hmm. if it would scare him. So that's. Hmm. I doubt he does. So I think maybe like. Does it feel things? Is it machine? Is it person? What is it? Looks like. I, I don't know. It's not like anything I've seen before. What if we just start hitting it and see, the, see what happens? I like that, that idea. idea. I mean, that's my strategy most of the time, so. I think that you two should yeah. definitely just go in and start banging at it. I'll try and do the sleep spell on it and then hopefully you can hit it with an arrow. If, look, if my first arrow doesn't hit, I'll come in and join the fray. We will hold you to that. Yes. That sounds good. I will push him if he doesn't go in. I will chase him All right. if he doesn't. <laughs> Can I shut up? Take your positions. All right, I'm gonna right be here. by uh, Tazu. Tazu. Okay. Uh, Jared, I have a technical question. Yes. So he's battling us back, right? Yeah. Okay. And I think so. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I figured probably a dumb question, but okay. Uh, so everybody needs to it roll initiative. Yeah. Initiative, initiatives. Oh boy, God, my initiative. Oh boy. Negative 13. One. Can you just hey, hold, great. On, That's good hold on great. to the number? Hold on to the number until everybody's rolled. Oh. All right, 25 to 20. 20. Nice. Sean Dre. Uh, 15 to 20. 17. Okay, let's see. Uh, 10 to 15. B, 13. Ash. And uh, 5 to 10. 5. <laughs> <laughs> better than zero. Okay. It's unfortunate. Uh, did you and uh, everybody make perception checks really quick for me. Since you've been doing so good at that recently. 10. 10. 12. 17. 6. 
Um, 17. There's something about this machine. Almost like it's gonna come to you while you're looking at it. There's like, there's something. All right, Chandri, you're up first. All right, I'm gonna walk straight up to it. Okay. And And hit it with my sword. Roll your attack. So it's a, a dexterity plus proficiency. Um, for your for yeah, me, because for, for your rapier, rapier. It's, it's dexterity yeah. plus your proficiency. Okay. Yeah. Seven. All right, you, you swing, it, clang. Uh, for your first action, uh, you, you can't like you just hit the metal and it doesn't really come through. But you can take your bonus. My bonus action to hit with my attack. other rapier in yep. my other hand. Yep. Not much better. Twelve. Twelve. So, Playing, can't quite uh, can't quite find where where you're supposed to hit it. This is tough. Great. Uh, well, since that went really bad, and I think I still have movement left. You, you moved when you came up. Huh? You moved when you came up. Yeah. That's your movement. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Marza, Marza, Marza. Okay. It's not yeah. looking promising. <laughs> I have a technical question. Yes. On my spell, it says that if I put them to sleep, if somebody uses an action to shake or sleep them, so like, if Tazu punches him, is that going to wake him up? Yeah, quite possibly will. Okay. Um, punch, punch. All punch. right. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and do my thematry. Thaumaturgy. Thaumaturgy. Okay. And I'm going to put harmless tremors in the ground, which lasts for one minute. Okay. And I say, let it shake, let it quake. Okay. And you put it where? You, you have to choose a point, right? Oh, it's going to go right under. And how big a radius is that? Um, Uh-oh. The book actually did not say. Oh, sorry, 30 feet. 30 feet. There we go. That's oh boy. I put it in like a different area on my spell card. Let's Five, see. 10, 15. So he's about, wait, 10, 20. I guess if I go diagonal, yeah, he's about 30 feet. But it's gonna get. It's gonna get everybody. Yeah. Because it's a 30 foot race. So you're putting it there, mm-hmm. uh, 10, 20, it's getting out. Yeah, it's the whole. Thing. And so it makes it rough terrain. Is that how it works? Oh no! What does it do? Um, it just says harmless tremors and ground on it. That's all the book said. Yeah, yeah that might is that it's a cantrip. Yeah. yeah. And it's called harmless tremors. Uh, well, it's. I yeah, guess if it's, it's harmless, it's, it's harmless. Liturgy, yeah. Yeah. So it is distracting. So I'll say that's pretty uh, creative. Um. Yeah, let me just see. Oh, not in here. This is just okay. Harmless tremors is part of thaumaturgy. Okay, uh, so yeah, you uh, it's yeah, it's like everybody starts to shake a little bit. Um, not like last night. It's a lot less. Um, okay, okay. So it, it may be affecting it. Uh, Ash, uh, I uh, shoot my bow. Great. Okay. 21. Oh yeah, so you hit an arrow that sticks right in between two of the armor plates. So... Thunk, can roll your damage. Seven. Seven damage, nice. Nice. Uh, make a perception check. Nineteen. You hear a. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Question: mm-hmm. Do I hear this because you said there's something that I notice and I'm eventually gonna notice it? Yeah. You. Uh, the way it's moving, you're like, is it a person. Uh, okay, it's uh, it's turn. Harmless Tremors, I'm gonna say, uh, have distract and then arrow in the back, but Harmless Tremors is gonna give it uh, a disadvantage on its attack, because that's very clever. Um, particularly for a uh, kind of fun melee brawl. Uh, it's going to attack Chandri. All right. So it reaches out to you. What's your AC? 
15. 15. Yep, so he uh, reaches out with a hand, and you hear you hear and see, a and some light electricity comes down the arm and shocks you. It doesn't do any damage, but you do drop one of your weapons. Oh, shoot. So he's made you drop your weapon. Uh, just one, probably just the, one. the main. I'll say it makes you drop the main. Okay. Uh, and uh, that's what he's doing. Uh, Tazu. Hmm. Sneaky. Um. Okay, I'm going to circle around. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Great. So that he's... Um, flanked. He's flanked, so... Does that mean I get advantage, advantage on, on attacks? attacks? Yep. Okay, cool. So I will hit him with my quarter staff. Okay, roll with advantage. <gasps> the good. It's twice, two, D, two D20s to roll it twice. Take the highest number for those. Oh, who don't know. oh, oh, that's good. <laughs> Not as good, but still good. Okay, uh, so the quarter staff, so that's uh, a, a 24 to hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, solid hit. <laughs> You learned your lesson! <laughs> <laughs> Roll your damage. Um, okay, so that's a d6. That's a five. Nice. Okay, anything to add to that? Nope. Just five. Okay, level great. one. Yep, level one. <laughs> um, so five damage. Great. And then as a bonus action, I can do an unarmed strike. Correct. Correct? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Cat. Cat. <laughs> um, so, oh, it was almost so good. So, with unarmed strike, do I add my proficiency bonus to that or no? I think so. Yeah? Okay. So that's an eight to hit. Yeah, you clung right into it. It doesn't, uh, uh, the first hit was solid though in a perception check for when that first hit. Okay, uh, perception, dirty 20. <laughs> There's definitely something. <laughs> uh, Sidney, top it around. Chandri, you heard that when she Is hit him. Is this ridiculous? <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna pick up my sword off the ground. Okay, he gets an attack of opportunity against you. Okay. Uh, so he's going to swing at you uh, with a 16. That hits. All right, and so he's just coming down to pummel you with his fist, and a six. Oh, big, Jesus. Big hit. Oh, God. All right. Wow. Um, yeah. But you pick wow. up your weapon. But I got my weapon. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. Jesus. Yeah, big hit, big hit from his uh, Mecha Man. I have it. I can still move, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to... 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, he's taking his attack of opportunity, and so. Yell at what's his face, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Professor Gato, and be like, I just heard an oof. I don't think this is mecha magic. What's going on here? Keep the fight going! <laughs> Please, the crowd! <laughs> they Nothing don't... to see him! <laughs> they don't attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> uh, Marza. Okay, so I'm gonna do my sleep spell. Okay. Um, so it says I can, It's the range is 90 feet, yes. but creatures within a 20 foot of, of range are affected. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so because she- Don't put she, us to sleep. Oh boy. Okay, but I, all right, sorry. Um, okay, so I roll 5d8. Back here, so 10, 20. 30, 40. So within 20 feet, they're... Uh, well, the range is 90 feet, but any creature yeah, within 20 feet. feet. So they're just outside the 20 foot, so you're just going to target that one. Bam. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, it says I get to choose who I target anyways. Okay, yeah. so I roll uh, 5d8. The total is how many hit points of of the creature the spell affects. Wow. Yeah, and then um, unless somebody 
potentially hits it. Right, and it gets a it has the save against you. Yes. Yeah, and to subtract each creature's HP from the total before moving on. To, oh, that's for the next creature. Okay. Uh, creature's HP must be equal to or less to than the remaining total for that creature to be affected. False. Okay, great. So we roll. Uh, yeah, just five d eight. So five d eight. Right? Do you want a few? Sure. Just do it all once. Here's a one, two, three. Perfect. Enough? Yeah. Okay, so I got more. more. All right. Four. Okay, hold on. Math. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Very good. So, uh, how do you cast your spell? Ah, yes. Okay. Dream a little dream. Thanks. So, on the wind, out of your uh, focus, it follows, and, and it comes to the Mecha Magic Man, and you hear. And the feet go, <laughs> and it seems to kind of oh! lock into position. <laughs> Ash. <laughs> um, I <sighs> move. Uh, to the side of it. Okay. And I. Do I have to draw my? Swords first before I you do. Um, he's asleep at the moment, so he's no threat to you. So I draw my short swords. Okay, and I attack with yeah. those. I think uh, does drawing work the same way in fifth edition? That's the question. <laughs> it says uh, uh, oh. interaction. One what interaction. I think it's like a swift oh, action. Good, good. Yeah. So, so yes, you can do that. Good. I'm glad they changed that because because yeah, in Pathfinder it's it's a, it's a whole it's thing. A um, great. So yeah, you draw your short swords and you get advantage. He's asleep. Great. And you, yeah, and flanked. And I mean, he was flanked. Mm, he was. He's not. Yeah. And you get advantage because of so. So you roll it twice and take the higher number. So I think I get plus two for my proficiency. Yeah, and this. then uh, strength. Your, your and that strength, too. And, and your strength bonus, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, that's 18. 18 total? So 15 oh, to plus hit. to hit. Okay. Right, oh, I was oh, like, wow, damn it, wow. Okay, oh, yeah, 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 no, no, no. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. So this is... This is to hit. To hit. Yeah, it's very team. Great. Yeah, we Strength have plus the two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great, great, great. Okay, roll your damage. Which one is six? The key. There it is. The regular die. Yeah. Oh. One. Uh, plus your strength. So, two. Two. Okay. <laughs> Alright. And. It's just the. It's just the five, weapon, I believe. Well, I have two swords. You don't have two weapon fighting, though. <gasps> Wait. You're not a two weapon fighter. I don't think. Oh. Right, right. You just have. You should just have one. I think the gear gave you two. We can double check it, but uh, pretty sure that you don't start with two. Two. Uh, you're good with the bow and good with the sword. I think. Um, let's see. Ranger update. Fighting. Do, 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 so that would have do, do. to be a dual wielder. Right, right, right. Yeah. Be? Which I think you would take later. Um, favorite enemies. Um, Start with scale metal leather, two short swords. It is funny that it starts you with two short swords. Let's see what it says. Um, when you at second to- level, you can take two weapon fighting if you want. Right now, you really are only proficient with the one. Just uh, a one. Just a, a two. All right. Yeah. All right. That's okay. We're gonna You're grow. welcome. We're gonna grow. <laughs> Support. So, thump like and it uh, <laughs> probably wakes up. I'm trying. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, uh, <laughs> and it's his turn. He's like, uh, mm, uh, and starts to uh, like twist and turn, and then just sprays like oil out in every direction yeah. all around here. Oh, man. Um, and so that's essentially uh, rough, difficult terrain uh, where he's put this like oil slick down uh, and it gets all over 
you and, yeah. and, and Tazu. We were like, yeah! But my and then, party should be able to move through a difficult terrain, right? Um, you get, it depends on the terrain as a ranger. We'll go over that in just a second. And he's going to 5, 10, 15 over here. And you guys I both get attacks of opportunity. Yes. So swing your sword at him again. And Taz, you swing your staff. Uh, nine. Nope. Or, yeah, 10. 10, 11. Nope, not quite enough. So you swing as he uh, moves through the slide. Why didn't I bring my dice jail? Um, to shame the dice into rolling better. <laughs> into the dice jail. Uh, essentially, this is the spell grease. Let me double check how that works and tell you what the book says. We're playing a game of rules. <laughs> rules. Don't uh, most games have rules? Yes. Okay. <laughs> grease, first level conjuration. Slick grease covers the ground in... Oh, I made it a little bit bigger than it should have been. Uh, <laughs> eh, turns whatever. into difficult terrain for the duration. When grease appears, each creature standing within must make a deck save or fall prone. So, to, so Tazu and uh, and Ash need to make dexterity well, saves. That's just great. Hey! 17. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Mm. Six. Yeah, okay, so Ash falls dexterity. prone. So that still bothers me, huh? Uh, it does, it does. It was unexpected, and it's kind of just uh, in there, so it's kind of in this ring. So, yeah, so... <laughs> um, actually, it's not too much smaller than what uh, Great, so yeah, you're down on the ground, it's moved out of the way, and it becomes Tazu's turn. Ah. Uh, your speed is have. Well, I am annoyed. Yeah. At this disgusting sludge that is on my feet now, because Tazu is dragonborn and does not wear shoes. <laughs> 5, 10, 15 is half my movement. Oh, look, I can reach him. Okay, very good. Hit him with my core staff. Hit him. Oh, it was almost a natural 20. Um, your dirty tease. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's it's still a 19. Like, it's oh, still yeah, a good roll. Solid, it just it went, it went to the 20 and then boop. Okay, roll your damage. Okay. Uh, That's a D6. Eight. Four. Nice. And then four I damage. get. Mm-hmm. And then. Uh, yeah, as, your bonus. As action. my bonus, I get an unarmed strike. Mm-hmm. Hey! Um, what did I say that was? Um, t- 23. Oh, yeah. And that. Nope, that's that's the wrong one. That's, that's a D4. Two! Excellent. Tazu goes up and just smacks it and, uh, and then she spins around and hits him with his tail. It's like, yes. Uh. <laughs> uh, the crowd is like, woo, yeah! People are cheering. They're really loving the show that you're putting on. Professor Gato's like, uh, and it goes to Chandri. Well, hmm. Let's see how close I can get. 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, so I can't get all the way up there. 25. Okay. 30. Okay. Uh, I have a hand axe that I want to throw at it. All right, <laughs> I don't really yeah. want to get right up next night day after day. that. Ranged, ranged attack, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Eight. Not Wait, no, hard. 10. 10, okay, good. I mean, you didn't just throw it into Tazu. So you <laughs> throw it at it, it just like, the, you, you get the good spin, but then the handle hits him. Ten, you're like, ah, oh, so close. Uh, Marzo. All right, I'm going to cast once again a harmless tremor in the ground. Okay. All right. Sorry, Tazu. <laughs> let it shake, let it quake. Harmless Trimmer in the uh, the ring starts going. It's a little bit difficult to deal with. Uh, Ash, down on the ground. I uh, try to get up. Okay, roll a deck save because you're in the in the ooze. Natural twenty. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you uh, uh, pop back up and can take a full. Great. Yeah. I'll awesome. say that it doesn't cost you anything because that nat twenty. Cool. Cool. Uh, so I'm up. Yep. I. Am, am I moving at half speed? Is that uh, in there? Yeah. All right. So what? This is 
I can get in this square. Five. So five, five, yeah. Ten. ten. Yeah. Uh, Fifteen. Mm-hmm. And then I will... Uh, I'll attack with my sword. Okay, swing your sword at him. That's a nine, 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 nine. You, you uh, are, are looking at it like, where should I hit him? It's so many metal places. Clang. Uh, you can't quite seem to get there. Do uh, grease. Um, okay. He uh, is going to uh, uh, spin around, and then out of his face space comes what type of machine steals things? Any response? Any response? What does it say? What type of machine steals things? Any response in the moment, quickly? What? Vending machine? <laughs> it, it takes your A rob bot. Oh, wow. Robot. Wow, we should Vicious know. mockery. We live in so, This is a city of puns. We should if you, if you would have, uh, I set it up so if you would have hit me with a good pun, it would have backfired. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, all right. A robot. I mean. Let us see. Robs? Robot. 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 I mean, robot. I guess, robot. I guess robot. the word is in it. Robot. It kind robot. of works. Vicious mockery. Okay. I think um, this instantaneous. Is you the string of insults. Uh, if the target can hear you, um, must succeed a wisdom saving throw, so all four of you, wisdom save, um, or take 1d4 psychic damage, psychic damage, and have oh, disadvantage on the next oh, attack roll. Jesus. You said a you said wisdom saving? Wisdom saving throw. Oh, Jesus. I don't... Uh, 13. Okay. 19. Okay. So if I, if I roll an 11, mm-hmm. and you add your wisdom save, add your wisdom save. save. Yeah, my wisdom box. save yeah. is nothing though, but my wisdom is plus two. So, uh, if it's calculated properly, then you should be using the safe throw. So it should just be zero. Yeah. So it's a less. Okay. 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 No, let's so be rolled a lot. Okay. Uh, six. Six. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Uh, you need a ten, so the uh, two of you take three. So, is it Ouch. psychic or sonic damage? You take. <laughs> Should be psychic damage. Yeah, you take three psychic damage, oh, and you Lord. both have disadvantage on your next attacks. Oh boo! <laughs> Man, the puns—they hurt you, uh, Tazu. Hmm. Not like this. You said. Three? I think that should have. Yeah, I think that actually should have been plus two. Okay, so thirteen is good. So this attack is at disadvantage, mm-hmm. huh? Mm-hmm. Oh. If Tazu moves five, ten around, and now he's flanked. Uh, it's a straight roll. It's a straight roll. Yep. Great. Um, so I'm gonna hit him again. That was stupid joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Is that one? Mm-hmm. Oh no. Uh, oh, let's. Okay. So we're gonna do what I like to do, which is the crit fail. Deck. Oh, the wheel of crit uh, crit wheel of morality. <laughs> turn, turn, turn. Tell us the, the lesson, lesson that, that we, we should learn. learn. Okay, <laughs> so you're gonna roll the d20, and we're gonna see what happens with the uh, with the deck here. So. Oh boy. Three. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, one to ten. So now roll it again. So we're gonna use a mishap deck here, okay. where I have a chart and they roll, and for the fail. Sixteen. Let's see what happens. Sixteen. Uh, uh, too close. You actually hit your target, but they get to try a grapple as a reaction. Okay. So he's gonna make a grapple check on you, which is uh, uh, your athletics or acrobatics. Oh, it, please acrobatics. <laughs> so, okay, you take acrobatics and it's gonna roll athletics, which it doesn't have much of, because it's that, a mecha magic man. What'd you roll? 19. Oh yeah, it rolls seven. Ha uh, So yeah, so you, you more, more than, and did not get grappled. So very, very good. So it comes up to you. Bob and leave. Yeah, comes up to you, tries to get you, and you just slip right out. Maybe some of that grease 
<laughs> makes it a little bit easier. All right, awesome. Top of the round, Chandri. <laughs> I've only got three hit points. That's right. You've been oh my gosh. Oh my. I do not want to die for this stupid competition. Good choice. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna take a couple steps back. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. I'll just stop there. I'm gonna shout at um, Marza and be like, put it back to sleep so we can pull off its helmet. I think there's a person in there. <laughs> now that's, that's, the end. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's the end of my turn, so I'm not, not okay, messing Marza. with that. <laughs> All right, uh, can I have some five, five D8? I'm gonna put it back to sleep. Will that three? affect uh, not doing me? No, I get to choose. Oh, but it's within, within, 20, 20, feet, feet, within 20 feet. Yeah, they are within 20, so they are gonna be. Oh, well, That's what it says, right? 20 feet of a point you choose yeah. with range. Within range are affected in the ascending order of their current So I get to point, choose. Ignoring who? unconscious creatures, starting with the creature with the lowest hit points. Uh, each creature affected by the spell falls unconscious till spell ends, sleeper takes damage, or someone uses an action to shake or slap the sleeper awake. Subtract each creature's hit points from the total. Man, this is a complicated spell. Mm -hmm. Before moving on to the creature with the next lowest hit points, a creature's hit points must be equal to or less than the remaining total of creature. What was that bit you were talking about with the 20 feet? Uh, so it's right here. Uh, 20 feet of yeah, a point. point. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Yeah. So you're gonna pick a point, but then it is those creatures. Oh, okay. So I pick an area, but if anyone's in that area. Right. I mean, he probably has. Uh, you won't hit. You won't hit uh, Chandri if you put it on him. If you like, put it here. But you will hit your two compatriots. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna do that then. Thank you. All right. Sorry, Chandri. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, All right, I am going to uh, create an instantaneous sound that originates from a point of my choice within range, which is 30 feet. Okay. So I'm gonna do a rumble of thunder. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have it hit here on him. Okay, All great. Right. How do you cast it? Let the earth speak, I choose thunder. Mm. <laughs> Um, very distracting uh, for the Mecha Magic Man. He, everything echoes within those things. Um, all right, Ash. Can I attack and then move? Yes. All right, so I'm gonna actually use my bow and arrow. Okay. Um, so. Shooting in point blank range. Yeah. Uh, let me see what. Uh, you might want to back up, hold on. Um, use my sword Five E archery point blank. This used to be a thing. It might not matter anymore. Um, let's see. Proficiency with a ranged weapon being within five feet of all creatures not impose a disadvantage. Okay, so uh, being this close to it, you'll have to roll at disadvantage on the attack. This is it. Does or does not? It does. So if you want to shoot, you need to back up. Sure. He's gonna get a uh, attack of opportunity on you, but he is at disadvantage because of this thunder sound. Uh, two, this is so seven. That does not hit your AC. Nope. So okay, he swings at you, ah. but he's very confused. Great. All right, now shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, twenty-two. Yep. Uh, another seven. Ooh. Boom. How do you want to do this? <gasps> Yeah, I uh, I pull my pull my arrow back, aim very carefully, send it shooting right in between the visor, the little space there, and I nail him right in the eye. Okay. The eye. Okay. And uh, <laughs> and T poses and then straightens up, and the whole crowd starts going crazy, like yeah, woo! And the professor is like, oh, very good, very good. And he like whistles, and his assistants come out and start like moving the construct back into this like 
weird kind of closet thing he's got set up, and they pull a curtain down in front of him, like, oh, very good, very good, this, this is how long it took, and he comes over and he's got a wand, and he, like, brings your hit points all up for those of you who oh. took damage. Oh, great! Back to full health? Yeah, yeah. Amazing! He's not gonna have anyone die at this tournament. I'm like, I'm about, I'm like, like, I'm gonna die in the next go, challenge. Ours is a benevolent hurt, but, DM. Yeah, but we're not gonna kill you in a tournament. It's not that type of town. My mecha magical man was defeated by the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yeah. No. Well, very good, very good. Now get out of here, and people are cheering. Like, yeah, woo! Um, all right, you have one event left. Yeah. I'm, I want to turn to Orvin uh, Tazu and be like, "You hit good. Thank you. You hit Sandri, okay." <laughs> I, I couldn't do the sleep spell. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I couldn't do the sleep spell. I wanted to be a team player, but then these two would have been passed out. Oh, that's fine, it was just an idea. Yeah, it was a that. good idea, but otherwise he wouldn't have I gotten a winning shot. I did with that winning yes, shot. You did. Yes. I'm very proud of you. Did you see that, Chandri? You did. Did you see that I shot? I see they are celebrating outside. Yeah. The fireworks are starting. Yeah. All, All right. right. Let's do some dwarven drinking. I'm quite drinking. excited to see what this dwarven drinking is. Let's head over. All right. Perception checks on your way over there. Ooh. Uh, 15. 20. 30. 40. 14. 8. Nice. Everybody but Chandri. You, uh, <laughs> uh, Everybody but well, well. Walking through the crowd, kind of looking about, is a uh, an, an older half-elf in a, in a red robe. Um, going around kind of looking about and pushing past the crowd. And occasionally like people say hi to him. He greets them and shakes hands and is moving through. Hmm. It's a man from the from the stage earlier. Oh, I think well, that's that was, uh, was that the half elf wizard. Right. That's who the kid was saying we should look out for. Why is he looking all peculiar at people as they walk by? That is strange. He didn't seem very friendly either. Is he still there? Yeah, yeah, you can see him. People are saying hi, he's greeting them, but he's, he's, he seems to be looking for something. Hmm. Do you want to go up to him or do you want to stay with him? Um let's go speak to him. Sure, why not? We are the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yes. Um, all right, so we walk up to him. Hello, good sir. Oh, uh, enjoying the enjoying the festivities. We, we, we quite are. We've been actually doing uh, very well in the competition. Um, I wanted to say hello because you're, you're friends or you, you work with the Prince of Oak? Uh, I am the uh, recently appointed advisor, yes. Oh, we didn't get your name. I'm Marza. Oh, Marza. I'm Ash. Ash. Chandri. Chandri. Tazu. Tazu, my pleasure. Uh, uh, oh, Alain Surin. Uh, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. How do you uh, spell that? A A L dash L A I N. Surin, S U L W R E N. Oh. Oh, yeah. I, I, uh, I believe you are, are doing well in the tournament so far, from the, uh, what I, my understanding. Yes, we quite are. well. We've, we've won all three rounds so far. We're, we're heading off to the Dwarven drinking game. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, forgive me. Uh, good luck. Are you enjoying yourself at this celebration? Oh, um, I'm more of a interior type of uh, person, so I mean, it's a beautiful day and getting this. Uh, historically significant and, and important, but uh, uh, the crowds are difficult. Oh, it's claustrophobic or...? Uh, it's something like that, sure. Are you looking for someone? Yeah, have you seen... Um, some, some odd, uh, two twins. Oh, oh twins. yeah. Mm. Yes, yes we did. I didn't. Not, not since the opening ceremony, though. Oh, uh... Very strange indeed. Is everything all right? Oh, I'm... I'm sure it's nothing you need to worry about. <laughs> of course. Mm. Oh, if, uh, if if we did run into them, uh, what would you want us to do? Oh, um, uh, you can send them to the, the, the prince's entourage and then we can take care of her from there. That would be most excellent of you, thank you. We'll keep an eye out. Oh, great. All right. 
Yeah. Well, you know, kids are hide. Why are you so worried about them? Oh, um, they can just get to they get themselves in trouble. I mean, uh, I'm trying to make sure things stay smooth for the prince. Uh, there's always things that can go wrong, and uh, they're kind of a. Uh, uh, Oh, element just, of chaos and you know there's all this stuff with uh, can't be that harmful. sure sure but they uh they are uh, uh cleverer than they appear um <laughs> but uh, uh uh yeah indeed i mean how, how do you um how do you feel about the prince oh he's great yeah, yeah, he just, seems charming don't know much about him i don't know much so yeah. um he gave very Passionate speech earlier. Oh, very good. I, uh, I helped with that. Um, uh, uh, I agree. It was a good speech. Mm, good. Uh, there's, um, well, I'm just trying to keep things smooth. Uh, great. Uh, it's well, lovely to meet all of you. Uh, if you uh, uh, come to Oak and you have business with the court, uh, please do uh, reach out. Of course, um, I'm sure you you don't come to the still city it's fine i don't know why anyway um i'm gonna look for them Uh, i'm going to all right well do do try and enjoy yourself a bit (laughs) thank you if we need to find you you. again uh where where could we find you oh um i'll eventually make my way back to the 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 prince's entourage off near the the main stage and if not the the lord mayor's uh 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 house and um uh please uh good luck with the uh, dwarven drinking contest, and um, yes, uh, uh, and if you win, congratulations. Um, uh, uh, it, it's, it's a great day in the history of all our peoples, and uh, and I'm glad that so many people from so far have come to celebrate here at Gillen. So, um, more than I imagined, actually. Um, so, Th- th- thank you. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. He's gonna make his way unless you're going to. Pleasure to meet you, Arlene. Oh, oh, my, um, oh, all mine from deepest up down. He like bows and makes his way. Is he talking about the the two twins that that came by us, warning us about him? That's what I gathered. Why is he so? Con- it's it's very odd. The twins said to watch out for him because he's. Scary or something. They didn't even say why, they just said. They just said he was bad news. The celebrations are outrageous. (laughs) It's a big party here in (laughs) Gip. We are recording this the day before 4th of July. (laughs) So everyone's excited. Okay, all right. Okay, great. <laughs> How they light their hair on fire? No, the, the, the boys, uh, they no. said to Pointer. watch... Pointer. They said to watch out for him. Yeah. And they said that he's trouble, and then he said that they're trouble. Yes. Something... That's just children, like he's... Something doesn't add up here. No. I trust the children I, more yeah, than him. I do, too. That's concerning. They did say he was shifty, and... He was he acting... He was very shifty. Yes. Mm-hmm. It was... Like he was having an allergic reaction or something. I don't know. Um, well, I guess we'll just have to wait until we see them. So, uh, shall we go off to the dwarven drinking game? Let's do it. All you right. hear a lot of cheering as you walk up to this event. And there is a dwarf in charge. Uh, and people are, people, you hear the crowd going, Drink, do it, drink. And then people are cheering, and some people are screaming, and there's uh, with excitement and also maybe fear. Uh, or uh, uh, that dwarf wouldn't be doing it. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, no, no, no. Ah, yes. Okay, good. There, there is a uh, a very stout dwarf uh, cheering him on. Hey, are you gonna drink, laddies? And uh, make perception checks as you walk up to this event that's happening uh, before your eyes. Natural 20. Nice. Uh, 14. 16. Okay. okay. You, nope, sorry, 12. Plenty, plenty. Uh, there, there's a uh, uh, tabaxi that's just like drinking and drinking at one end of the table. And in front of him, there's a plate that's half empty. It's got some kind of food on it. And then in front of two other contestants, there's 
uh, stein on the table, but they keep shoveling food in their mouths, and they're weeping, and they're red in the face, and uh, start to smell spice. Oh, oh my gosh. No. It is, you can already like almost taste the heat. This is a different type of dwarven drinking contest than you may have been expecting. Oh, no. This seems to be a who can eat the most of this dwarven spicy food without drinking dwarven ale. Oh, no. And people are cheering and laughing. It's a demented version of the Hot Ones challenge. Oh, no. So I think that this might kill us. Someone shouting an insult and a guy just starts coughing and coughing. Someone from the crowd like shouted at this guy. And he's like, oh, oh. Uh, perception checks get really quick. Ooh. Well, I crit failed. And this is very intimidating. 20. 20. Six. Okay, it's dirty 20, good enough. Uh, uh, while the one guy is coughing, uh, you see this human who he, he's like still in the game eating, reach up really quick with his hand and put something and shoves it in his mouth and then just keeps going and no one else seems to notice. I don't Ooh. know so if I can do this. They're going and they're going and they're going and finally the one that's coughing just like, you shit with his hand, every hand grabs the stein and just starts pouring in his mouth and just pours it over his head. And the guy who didn't drink is like, yeah! And he starts cheering and he starts drinking ale and celebrating and he gets, uh, he, he won this particular round of the Dwarven drinking contest. So the, uh, the stoutly dwarf and his stoutly Dwarven wife, Falrain Deep Lake, He's got a, kind of a woodsman-y type of simple clothing, very common here in Ginnon. A big beard, rosy cheeks. He's like, we have our winner! Yeah! Cheer and clap. Now, for the teams lining up, the rules. Eat as much hot dwarven food as you can. It gets progressively hotter. Delicious plates. Fixed by my lovely wife, Nerwin. And people are like, yay! And people are like, oh, Nerwin's the best! You know, like people are like, and she just waves. She's got some whiskers on her chin, and she's lovely. Uh, and it's like, and the last person to drink their ale wins. Do you have the constitution? Oh, I don't think I do. <laughs> I don't. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know if we can win this last one. Are all of us eating? I'm, I'm you right. can you designate an eater. Uh, who can who can stop uh, this? As you're trying to figure it out, uh, a drunk half lane goes up. Okay, you guys gonna go in there? I think I can make some coin if you guys. Okay, okay. So you get a <laughs> one of you's gonna eat the hot food. So whoever's best with eating the hot food, it's great. Now the rules say whoever drinks last wins essentially. So. It, it doesn't say that explicitly against the rules that other people can't affect the, the challenge. You understand? You need to figure it out. Okay, okay. So, whoever is going to be the best eater, you make sure you pump them up and you keep going and see what you can do. If you get caught, if you get caught though, I mean, it's not on me, but you know, you might be able to help a little bit, figure it out, be creative, and see how it's going. Eh? You know, but, uh, and and uh, if, if you, uh, you know, Ever uh, are looking for some shoes? You can uh, you can come over to uh, <laughs> come, come over and see me at the cobbler. Okay, <laughs> sweet. So I got some gold on you, so it's gonna be great. He like wanders away. He doesn't seem like he really knows where he is, but he's giving you the lowdown of what huh. he, what he's been. This is his favorite event. <laughs> I I don't see what's to be afraid of. It's just spicy food. Do you think you can handle spicy food? Why not? Okay. Do you, Marza, do you know any way to like make water appear in people's mouth? Can you like poof it into their mouth? Because that would be very helpful right about now. Um, poof it into their mouth. Him, 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 Marza. <laughs> I, I, I could cause more tremors in the ground, so maybe it might force other people to like lose the balance and maybe they might want to drink. Um, I have a. Rule. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do the does the person have to keep eating the food continuously? Yeah. 
You just keep going. Got it. The more plates you put down, the more points you get. Mm. Oh, I don't really have a spell that can really benefit us for this. It's only spicy food. What? How spicy can it be? I, I guess we let Tazu yeah. go for it. I mean, if you want I to could, go for it. I could send messages to other people here playing and tell them, drink, drink. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll think it's like, it, it could oh, be like tempting yeah. them to want to drink. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like the sound and I, of that. I can do that as many times as I, I want. I can do it in my sleep, really. <laughs> I actually could do that too, I think. Maybe? Let me check. <laughs> All right. So, are you sure you're okay with doing this, Tazu? It's gonna be really harsh, but you've got like a, a belly full of fire. Is that a bad joke? That's kind of true. No, I, I do not breathe fire. I am not a dragon. Oh, I thought I saw something like that during the pie eating. Yeah, yeah, like a little, you know? <laughs> Can't do that. So I didn't know if there was fire that comes out to view. No, oh. I am blue dragon, red dragons, Please fight. Oh, what? Um, I, I am dragon born. I am not dragon. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Celebration. <laughs> Celebration <laughs> tonight. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this. You feel thing. confident? Yes. All right, let's do it. Right, let's do Why it. is this so hard? All right. Uh, your old <laughs> friends from No Mercy are back, and they really no hyped up mercy. one of them. He's no, like no stoked. Mercy. He's got a shirt off, <laughs> and he's like getting the crowd pumped up, and they're like, you know, two female gnomes and one of the male gnome are just like doing chants, and people are like, yeah, so everybody's getting like so excited for the gnomes. They're getting hyped. Um, and then you're going up against... Uh, a, uh, a halfling who looks a little nervous, um, and uh, let's see, uh, Tabaxi, like before on that thing. So that's your three. We got a, uh, we got a Tabaxi, a halfling, a gnome, and a dragonborn. Uh, you take your position. People are cheering. Uh, you can smell the spices. They're like they come first, and slowly pour the ale into the flag and right in front of you. Mmm, so nice and cool and refreshing. They've uh, magically chilled it, and you can feel it, kind of the cool air waft off it. It's very inviting. Um, they're like, right, ready. Points out the gnome's just like, yeah! And the tabaxi, it's a cat person. Uh, it's Thank like, you. <laughs> cat person. Uh, this is whiskers back, and like, hmm, she's she's ready to go. And then uh, the the halfling just, hmm. it's like focus, ready to go. Crowd's excited, people are going nuts. So boom, 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 and comes in front of you. They stop one. Uh, there's one person per plate. They come drop in front of you. Boom, first dish. It's a bunch of crackers with like pepper dust all over it. So it's super dry and hot. So everyone's gonna be making. Uh, <clears throat> uh, do we do one thing? Okay, uh, you're gonna make, uh, what type of check would you like to do to eat this on, uh, how you eat and then constitution for the heat? <coughs> how I eat? Mm. Are you worried about eating it? No, it's crackers and dust. <laughs> All right. So let's just do it. As he does not understand what the big deal is. <laughs> okay, so you're just gonna shove crackers in your mouth and get gone. So you just start going on the crackers. Let's roll your constitution. Oh yeah, you can even like taste it. Like it's a little dry, but you're a dragonborn and scaly, and kind of used to things being a little bit dry. So you're like, no big deal, no big deal. Uh, the halfling seems to be having trouble already. Uh, the gnome and the tabaxi shoving the crackers in their mouth. Like another plate comes down, and they're shoving down. And that was a good roll for that one too. So now comes the your next dish. The one halfling is still working on the first one. Next dish comes out. Uh, this will be trail rations that have been sliced and then covered in some kind of uh, uh, jelly. Oh, jelly, huh? Jelly. Um. 
what are you guys and while, while that comes down what are you guys doing do you want to yeah some so pictures? how far is this other table from us um, it's not a very big crowd. Like, it's pretty close things. They're okay. basically watching the eating of the four people, so it's my, all pretty close. My range is 120. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you said the halfling's not going to it? I'm having a hard time. Okay, so I'm going to send a message to him. Okay. Um, so I go, Shh. Drink the frothy, juicy beer. <laughs> Roll a persuasion. Fourteen. <laughs> yes. So, uh, you need to pull that? Oh, and he said it's magic. Oh. Yeah, so the half lane was like... <laughs> oh. Oh, and reaches out and just starts chugging. Yeah! And we just Celebration! Yeah. Marza yeah. just goes like this under the table Boom. with his pumps. <laughs> oh, yeah, so... Yeah. And his team is... Oh, and yeah. the crowd's like, yeah! <laughs> So he's done. He's done. All right. Next round, you got the, you got these trail rations with trail rations jelly. With some sort of jelly. Uh, on it. When you smell them, it's very hot. Uh, intelligent check. See if you can maybe place what type of jelly it is. Uh, intelligence check. Uh, Twelve. Mm, yeah, not, you're not familiar with it. Not the type of peppers that you grew up on the, in the mountains. Um, and uh, so, all right, you're gonna be um, constituting this one. Yeah, I guess so. Unless, like, can I do a medicine check to see if I could just like, like, suck it up, or are the trail rations like solid? Trail rations are like a pemmican bar, oh, okay. Like, okay, but the jelly is is just spread on it. Okay. They're just it's gonna be chewy and. Okay. A lot then to work I'll, on then I guess I'll just do a straight concentration. Okay, okay here we go. And is a constitution. Check. Saving throw. Check. Uh, Doesn't matter. Let's, let's do check. It's the same. Okay. Another natural 20. Oh! I see. Oh, oh wow. 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 Okay. So uh, the <laughs> the tabaxi is having a hard time chewing. Um, uh, the the gnome is going nuts, but Tazu just starts like flipping them like coins <laughs> into her mouth, and the crowd is going. Crazy, and it, it's hot. It's hot, but you're just like with your tongue, just like slurping it back and just knocking it back. What are you gonna do this round? Oh man, um, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't I'm gonna cheer. <laughs> All right. Uh, roll. roll uh, we're gonna do persuasion. Roll a persuasion check. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna um, actually um, heckle the uh, the two remaining. Okay. In, intimidate. So I'm gonna say what you say and then roll. Um, it's a cat person and a half. Come on, drink that ale. You know you want to. Nice. All right. In, intimidation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, not very intimidating. That's a... That's six. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you yell it out, but the, the crowd is so loud, it doesn't seem to get through to them. The, the uh, uh, or did I say half thing? I said no, no. And so it's no in the back. They don't seem to take... The, the back is still struggling. The, the gnome seems to be doing just fine. Um, he's just, like, licking and and, and, ta- and taking it down. So, okay, here we go to the next dish. We have a uh, like day old dryish pasta with some kind of like sauce poured all over it. I again, I guess, just the constitution. And the uh, the crowd goes, "Oh, halfling hootin' nanny holler!" What? <laughs> they like know what this sauce is. They they can sm- you can smell everybody in the crowd can smell it. This is a hot sauce, like it's radiating off of this thing. Oh. You're doing great, Tazu. Okay, here this we go. This smells bad. To vaccine, no. <laughs> not awesome, but not terrible. Uh, just at, uh, 13. Uh, it's taking you a minute to to work on it. The, the gnome just starts slurping it down. Like nobody's from the vaccine. Can't, it's still, it's just like, <sighs> like, 
staring at the dish and looking at her ale and staring at the dish looking at her ale. That ale's looking pretty good to you right now. This is this started to get hot suddenly real fast. Uh, I want to, I'm intimidating. I want to yell at the tabaxi and be like, you can't beat a dragonborn. We will end you. Yeah. <laughs> Great, roll intimidation. Sorry. <laughs> Eight. Yep. Oh, no. yep. Okay. We're not good at it. We are rolling like bad uh, She rolled a four. And she like, you see her look up and just stare in your direction. <laughs> <laughs> and then look at Tazu. <laughs> Tazu's having a hard time. She tries like, <sighs> trying, but going at a really rough pace. <laughs> Ah, uh, so she's still working on that dish, but you get it down. Mm-hmm. It's really hot, and the beer is looking yes. good. But uh, the gnome, <laughs> gnome got no problem going down. They bring over a uh, next dish. It's uh, slices of dried jerky that are just coated in uh, in in just powder that just smells like it's just so hot. And oh my gosh, a dry wing rub, super spicy jerky. It's gonna be so dry and hard to eat. So, what do you want to do? It's really yeah, gonna be you and the gnome. Um, it's down to me and the gnome, huh? Yeah. Unless the tabaxi has could a last I... minute pull through. <laughs> could I... Um, so it's coated in dust? Yeah. It's jerky coated in spicy dust. Could I, like, pretend to sneeze and blow it off of the Make jerky? Make a deception check. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, is that, yeah, okay, 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 that's good. So that's, <laughs> my deception is negative one, so that's a 17. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's spicy, people have been sneezing, and yeah. you just, you pull it off, and you do blow a good <laughs> bit of dust off some of this jerky, <laughs> and no one seems to take it as uh, purposeful. <laughs> So good job. Uh, meanwhile, the gnome just grabs like two pieces, one in each hand, and just like, and people are going crazy. What do you do? I'll, uh, oh, mercy, man. I'll just glare at him and just, and then I'll eat the. It's gonna eat it. All right. The roll, roll off with this gnome here and see how you do. Okay, okay. 18. Also rolled 18. God. Your neck and neck. The crowd's going crazy. You're somehow getting through. It's so hot. You're like, you're almost going numb, but you still feel the heat. It's drying out your scales around your lips. Uh, it's, and you can taste it on like the roof of your mouth. It's, it's just really tough. The gnome, he's like <laughs> chewing through and they're getting it. And people, the crowd is going crazy because up to this point, almost everyone has quit. Tabaxi seeing this jerky, still staring at the pasta, just calls it and grabs her beer and just yeah. starts chugging it. And the crowd's going crazy. Like her tail is all poofed out. Like she's just, <laughs> she is so uh, upset. You know, it's like just upset. Just like that. And so, uh, so it's down to you and people are going nuts because no one has gotten past the jerky up to this point in the yes. day. And so and there's only one more, or no, you guys are the last ones. You guys are the last rounds. So and no one, uh, no one has gotten to this next dish. So everybody's going cra- crazy. And so out comes, uh, they're, they're almost giving a reprieve. Like they're, they're making sure the beer's cold and the, and the dwarf's wife, uh, Nerwin, Deep Lake, she comes out with two plates and it just looks like sand. Ew. Uh, perception checks for those in the crowd. That's you. That's okay. you. And uh, intelligence check. Uh, knowledge. Do you know anything about the planes? Uh, four. In, in, four. No. Thirteen. No. Nope. Mm-hmm. Intelligence. Oh wait, intelligence. Yeah, for you guys it was, it was perception. Okay. Oof. Not good. 
Uh, just intelligence. Intelligence. <laughs> That's a three. Three, no. Chaudry, you're pretty familiar with sand. This is not familiar sand. It's like bright red and occasionally it's speckled through with black. <laughs> and it's just this plate of sand. And, uh, and, <laughs> and, and the, the dwarf Falrain is just like, never before! Maybe never again. Oh my oh god. Lord. Sam <laughs> from the Warren of Fire. And everyone just erupts into <laughs> cheers. Yes. And oh my god, you're supposed to eat this? Yes. And so uh, you come up, the, the gnome just reaches down and grabs a handful, holds up to his mouth, and just locks eyes with you. <laughs> I really want to do another message. What are you doing? <laughs> I glare back at him. Okay. I also take oh, handful. Sand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's going for two. All right. I roll it disadvantage, but he is two. Uh, you, your mouth is essentially lit on fire. When you uh, okay. okay. All right. Oh. Did you um, fail? No, I did not. Um, I rolled a seven. He rolled a four <gasps> and a one. Yeah! 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 He immediately blows fire out of his mouth. Uh, he's coughing, he's falling on the ground. He can't get up. He takes like eight damage. You take... Uh, you take three fire damage, but you've somehow managed to keep it in your mouth. Do you have the <laughs> fire resistance? No, she does not. Uh, it's it, a it, 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 it hurts. It hurts. I'm not oh. dragon. It hurts so much. I'm not the fire gnome, breathing dragon. The, the, the gnome on the ground, his friends just would come over and they grab the tanker and just best. toss it on his face. <laughs> they just, everybody, and people in the crowd are throwing beer onto the gnome. You shoot flame out of your mouth, but you blow it out. And then you can grab your beer if you want to. <laughs> As you reach for your beer, the, the dwarven uh, Falrain, the, the, or uh, uh, Nerwin, I don't drink it, Nerwin, I just hold it. Nerwin, the wife, comes up and dumps something into your beer. It's like, drink this, dear. <laughs> and uh, it's immediately soothing and cooling. Uh, no, essentially, no, she heals no, the damage no, no, that you no, took. No, okay. um, <laughs> if you didn't fail, it was going to be like a damage off of who could take oh, the most. Who could take the most? Um, but he failed. No, and, uh, and so you've. Uh, it, you have won. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Now I am fire breathing dragon. Yeah! yeah. Huge cheers. <laughs> People are chanting the four horsemen, the four horsemen, all sorts of stuff going off. Perception checks. What was that? 18. Nine. 18's good. You won. You're, you're enwrapped in what's happening. 11? Okay. 11, nine's fine, and, and 18, absolutely. You start to hit here, bells start to ring all across the town. Ta-tang, ta-tang, ta-tang. The dwarf... Like happy bells? No. Oh. Uh, the dwarf immediately, the, the dwarf in charge here, Falrein, immediately turns to his wife and says, protect the children. And he's like, come, and he's like, and he's like, to arms, and starts yelling, and people start scattering. Children are screaming, and so what do you do? What 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 does what what does uh, happen? I follow. Uh, let's let's follow the uh, the dwarf. He seems to know mm. where he's, okay. he's yeah. going. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. All right. You you follow. You're starting to hear uh, these bells, and uh, a guardsman runs up and is like, "It was like, okay, uh, they're coming. They're coming from the, the the north and the west gate. The north and the west gate." Who is? God. There, there, there's goblins. Goblins are attacking the town. And that's where we're going to wrap it up. Oh! So, come in next time. The town is under assault. And we're going to find out why. Dun, dun, dun. Yay! 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 Happy Able first episode! <laughs> Thank you very much for watching our first episode of Fables of Refuge. Uh, I hope you stuck around the whole time. Obviously you did if you're watching this. 
Uh, be careful when you're eating spicy food. Don't fight robots. I don't know what other lessons to take from this. Or do fight robots. Uh, please come back for our next episode. We're going to be uh, jumping right into an assault on Gibbon. Question really quick. Yes. Me and Carter realized that we have resistance to fire. Man, it would have been really good for you to be a part of it. <laughs> If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, that helps out a whole lot. And if you like the show and want to support us, consider joining the Patreon. We would love to see you there. Uh, anything, a dollar is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't have to, it's totally cool. It's just, if you feel like it, that's awesome. And there are some cool rewards. You get to uh, have an NPC in the game. If you uh, give enough, if you give more, you get an NPC that is fated to die. Uh, so you get to influence the game to be a part of this story What's that we that are all, <laughs> yeah, that we are all creating together. Uh, so join us yeah. and thanks for watching Fables of Refuge.